why their job is head of security at Saf Industries, a cutting edge biotech firm. David Saf himself had a technique for the job. He said he needed me to keep his people safe. My ex made him wait for one of them. Brilliant neuroscientist, made him a target way to make all the patients safe and affordable for everyone. All she had to do was present her research to Congress. But the night before her big meeting, my security measures failed. A team of black ops mercenaries stormed into Saf headquarters, massacred everyone in the city. Three of the monks were heavily augmented along with tanks. Their mission? Take out Megan and their team. Tried to stop them, but their leader tossed them to a thick-ass wall. Last thing I heard as his bullet slammed into my brain was Megan's dying scream. I should have died with her. High-end, military-grade enhancements saved my life. The best augmentation Sarah's money could buy. Took me half a year to get a feel for her. Should've taken longer. Six months of my recovery, Sarah Industries was attacked again. This time, by a radical group of pro-human purists. Violent, militant, and fanatically opposed to human augmentation. They claimed to be members of Humanity Fund, a non-profit organization that wanted the UN to limit biotechnology research. The thugs broke into Sarah's factory and found machines working overtime on a top-secret military augment called the Typhoon. Sarah sent Megan to retrieve it. And when I did, I found one of the so-called purists next to it, wired with cerebral implants, trying to download its classified specs. Obviously, something more was going on. The all killed himself before I could question it. Sarah ordered me to dig deeper. So with the help of Frank Pritchard, Sarah set up cyber security, again. Turns out a second hacker had been controlling the all's actions from somewhere off site. Pritchard and I tracked his signal to a secret female internment camp in Detroit. The black op mercenaries were there. The same monks who'd let me forget six months before. Pretty to try again with his army. Wasn't so easy for him this time. I took off a tank named Barrett, even down to the enemy. Had that apartment in China. Of course, we both knew it would be a trap in the air. Henshaw Island, China. Home to a city so crowded, they had to build a second city on top of it. Trying to find clues in Henshaw wouldn't be easy. Lucky for me, I wasn't alone. Karina Mallard, Sarah Finn's Tuesday's pilot, had lived in Henshaw before. A good person to have on your side. She knew enough about the place to get me around. Mallard dropped in the lower city, close to the penthouse back and told me about it. Bell Tower Associates, a private security firm with a contract with the Chinese government, had agents tossing the sweet when I arrived. Just not for the reason I didn't expect. Turns out the man who lived there was a criminal hacker named Van Lubin. The same hacker who'd been remotely controlling the all in Sarah's factory. Van Lubin's panicked decision to force the man to commit suicide had been a mistake. Now his mercenary partners were dying for him. Now he needed to find him before they did. Locating Van Lubin meant playing nice with the triads, Henshaw's organized crime boss. They had a hacker holed up inside a low-rent capsule hotel. By the time I found him, Van Lubin had no qualms even if the woman hired him. Zhao Yunlu, president of the Taiyang Medical Corporation. According to Van Lubin, Zhao wanted to monopolize the augmentation industry, and he hired black op mercenaries to destabilize their competition. Sarah Industries was at the top of the list. To prove this, I needed to get inside TYM and grab a surveillance hologram off the server. I suspected Van Lubin was hiding something and told him this, but nothing could prepare me for what I saw. Megan wasn't dead. She and her four best researchers at the Tibet spirited away somewhere full of kidnappers named Look like they were dead. Just to learn more, I confronted Zhao in her penthouse. She claimed to be a pawn in a bigger plan and hinted at a group so powerful it controlled global interests at a whim. Then she slipped into a panic room and hit the lock, forcing me to make a very quick exit. I figured Zhao was lying. A part of her confession makes sense. David Sarah had been worried about his people. So worried, he required all of them to have subdermal locator devices surgically implanted. The GPL was going to be broadcast in the day of the attack. If Zhao sent a single call to Pikus, the world's leader in global 24 hour satellite news, I turned the signals off. I needed to fly to Pikus headquarters in Montreal if I wanted to learn more. Eliza Kassan, Pikus Communications' first lady of news. Now I thought I was reaching when I told her Eliza was involved in this. The world's most famous news anchor, working with a mercenary hit squad. But when I confronted Kassan in her office, she freely admitted to jamming Detroit satellites the night Megan's team had been taken. Since she'd just been following her commands, I suspected she wanted to say more. But black ops mercenaries showed up with their shows both down. And just like that, the Eliza I was talking to disappeared. The merch were led by an augmented killer I crossed paths with twice before. Then I'm over. A woman who made silence her best friend. She waited for me to track Eliza's transmission to a secret server room underneath the Pikus complex, then jumped me from behind. A deadly fight ensued. I made sure she never moved silently again. With Petter over down, and no one left to keep Eliza quiet, she reappeared. Turns out Pikus's first lady of news wasn't a lady at all. She was a sophisticated AI program, engineered to monitor data streams and control what people believe. Eliza told me the Mercs had brought in a humanity front doctor named Isaiah Sandoval to remove the scientist's implanted tracking devices while Detroit satellites were down. She also told me to speak to David Sarah if I knew anything more. By the time Malachi and I got back to Detroit, tensions between normal and augmented citizens had reached the highest point. Riots were breaking out in several cities, and the UN was being nourished into being. Sarah was trying hard to convince Hugh Down, the inventor turned philanthropist who'd once been a leading proponent of enhancement technologies, to help stop the possible regulatory vote. Sarah had a lot riding in Dallas. Megan's discovery would have given millions of people the chance to revolve beyond their normal human abilities, and at the same time, catapulted Sarah Finn Street to the top of the Fortune 500. According to Sarah, Megan's kidnappers knew this, and didn't want people evolving unless they controlled how it was done. He called his enemies Illuminati, and urged me to keep searching. Determined to do so, I tracked down Sandoval, the other America's most outspoken augmentation opponent, Bill Tiger, Sandoval's boss and founder of Humanity Front. Sandoval admitted to operating on Megan's team when I confronted him, but said he hadn't removed their GPLs. He blew the switch down to a different frequency. Pritchard was able to trace all the signals to China. Malik and I immediately took off in pursuit. Unfortunately, a few Illuminati moments ahead. Ambushed. Shot out of the sky by Bell Tower Associates, seconds after entering Henshaw's airspace. Now its pilot is still safe. After a tense and bitter struggle, I escaped into Bell Henshaw. The tracking signal I was following went straight to the triads. Or more specifically, to the augmented arm of Tong C. Hung, leader of a gang of augmentation harvesters. Tong said they'd taken the arm off a corpse, which Bell Tower had left at their door. Even then, at least one of Sarah's scientists was dead. Maybe not the rest of them, though. Tong pointed me to a fourth use of human trafficking and helped us flip aboard a Bell Tower ship. We were sailing to Rifleman Bank Station, a military base in the South China Sea. Bell Tower was holding kidnapped civilians as prisoners there, and using them to perfect the Hilo project, a human-computer interface that left most of its test subjects dead. 
My search for Megan was in vain. Not for a mysterious hour named Quinn. In exchange for my help exposing Delta, he slipped me aboard a second ship headed to Singapore and an Illuminati mine biotech facility called Omega Ranch. Three of Sarah's scientists were there, forced by the captors to create a technology capable of remotely shutting down augmented abilities. Thanks to an emergency recall notice issued by the World Health Organization, millions of people all over the world already have a biochip installed. With the help of the scientists, I tracked Megan to a private section of the ranch. There, I ran into Yaron Mimir, the walking tank who put a bullet in my brain the first time we met. He teamed up with Zara, and was hoping to catch me off guard. But a little ambush didn't work. I found Megan in a suite belonging to Hugh Darrow, a billionaire philanthropist who Sarah had called on for help. Darrow had convinced her to go along with the biochip plan by promising to sabotage the tech. As she was explaining this, Darrow appeared in a global broadcast, telling the world that augmentations would be the death of mankind. Then he activated the biochips to prove his point. All over the world, augmented people flew into a chilling frenzy. Darrow had betrayed everyone, and it was up to me to set things right. To do it, I had to reach Pancheo, a massive installation in the Ocean. As I raced through corridors built by all augmented workforce, I saw death and destruction firsthand. By the time I shut down Darrow's broadcast, I knew the damage he'd done. Still, humanity's future remained unclear. How would the world react to the sabotage? Would people ever regain their faith in augmentations again? What would be the Illuminati's next move? In the time, give us the answers. thought I could save the world. Now look at it. In yet another augmented terror attack, 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451 were killed. When an augmented passenger broke into the plane's cockpit and ruthlessly butchered its flight crew. <laughs> Sometimes, you just have to let go, and embrace what you've become. Not gonna go all wonky on us now, Hansa, are ya? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen, am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good, because you are the only augmented operative on this team. And I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you. We've got a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex Bell Tower, one of the Special Forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military grade augments to terrorists. This is Iran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. For three years, he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jinn, an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, our arms dealer sent a message to the Jinn, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle a buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts their party. Is things cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. What's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft, here. I want you to block access to it. Fine. Just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I'd recommend taking a little hardware. 
just to be sure. Got a UC in there. Might be easier to maintain his cover if he's not the only one still breathing when this is done. Smart thinking. Yeah, but if anything does happen to him, you'll be telling his wife. After you get out of the hospital, of course. What about range? There's lots of white spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. Well, I'm not looking to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising Singh that way. One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the Jin out of that atrium. Copy that. <laughs> Time to put away your happy thoughts, gentlemen. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. Task Force Action. This is Knife Leader. Engage Hush Drives and descend to Angels 1-5. Team leader, this is Jensen. I'm on the roof. Solid copy. Move into the building. The access route you need to block is at the far end of the penthouses. And keep in mind, the direct route might not be the easiest one. Roger that. McCready will advise once his team is on the ground. Miller out. Jensen, we're moving through. Oh, fuck. What's wrong? The Jin have got a few Jennies up and running. Gonna have to hack keypads. Should enjoy it, McCready. They have colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad. Fuck you. Jensen, Mac, listen up. Doppler shows that sandstorm's moving in fast. It's big, and it's gonna hit us hard. God, I hate the fucking desert. Confirm visual? I can. Time is not on our side. Copy that. Solid copy. McCready, how you making out? Slower than expected. It's like someone's stole a fucking cemetery down here. Say again? When the shit hit the fan in 27, the rush must have been for the stairs. There's corpses everywhere. A lot of your cousins are here too, Jensen. You want me to grab you any spare parts? No parts. But I take mine with cream and two sugars while you're asking. Listen up, everyone. Chang's hacked into the Jin's radio signal. Checking the patch now. We should be hearing Singh any second. Khalil, the guy who's going to tell us the things that are coming from a little bit. Go tell the people that I'm going to kill you. And let you be waiting for you. Patch is clean. 
Solid copy. Good. I'll repatch us once the deal kicks off. Miller, I've disabled the Jin's comms booster. Should make it harder for them to listen in on the deal. Good work. With luck, Singh's cover will still be intact when this is over. Roger that. Moving on to primary target now. Jensen, we're inside the atrium, taking up positions on the terraces. What's your 20? Still moving. Well, hurry the fuck up. Enemy helo is inbound, and this sandstorm's getting close. You get that comms booster disabled? Affirmative. Booster's fried. So maybe the Tin Man does have a heart, after all. Way to look out for your team. McCready out. الجو ابتدى يحرر قوي This is Jensen. Penthouse access route secure. Jin shouldn't be a problem. Over. Copy that. About fucking time. Enemy helo sighted. Strike force, position and hold. Strike one, in position. Strike two, all set. Strike three, yeah. Strike four, in position and holding, boss. Eyes up, safety's off, guys. Yeah, no shit, brown nose. Watch your fucking mouth, Halliday. Both of you, shut up. Five in position. Everybody stay sharp. Singh's got eyes on Shepard. Patching you in now. Targets in the AO. Remember, Singh's down there, so watch your fire. You got balls, Singh. Executing a buy with a sandstorm on her ass. I cannot take credit for Mother Nature, mister. You can call me Shepard. How biblical. Are these the weapons? The Orcs. They're getting harder to come by. Guns are still on the chopper. Show me the cash, quick, and we'll... Oh, what the...? The pod was quick, Flash. Shepard is dead! What? By who? What's going on down there? Miller, this isn't the Jin. Repeat, it's not the Jin. They're after the weapons! Open fire! Open fire! Weapons free! Open up on Agreed. Can we get a grab for the chopper? You got a shot? Negative! Negative! We're under heavy fire down here! We can't let that chopper take off, Jensen! I got it. This is bad! They're closing in! We're gonna lose Singh! Jensen, I can't reach him! Jensen, this sandstorm might have just bought us some time, but you need to disable that chopper. Copy that. Miller, chopper's been grounded. Repeat. Jensen! You're welcome.
the Czech Republic leads a growing list of countries calling for the relocation of its augmented citizens. It's a new world, Adam. It's afraid of people like us. Bust into safe and secure segregated industries closed its doors. You didn't think it would end with the AUG incident, did you? We were victims! This is retribution for a tragedy we could not control. They control the news. They buried the truth. Possible detonations. Looks like car bombs. Another terrorist attack, this time in a police station. The United Nations Security Council has tasked... A new anti-terrorist intelligence and response team will have all the Task Force 29. Agent Jensen. I won't let it happen again. What have the events in Dubai cost us? They knew the risks. How many assets did we lose? All of them. This sad storm didn't help. The mission was a success. Clearly, your scale of success is a generous one. However, the erratic nature of the attack could work to our advantage. Interpol will be confused for weeks, and with our continued guidance, the people will come round eventually. We are all in this for the long game, after all. That's never changed. You think so? Do I need to remind you all how far we have veered off course? The Og incident has caused a schism in society. Things are worse than we projected, and growing more unstable every day. This will not be tolerated. To ensure the success of our vision, the disruptive elements must be excised. No one here disagrees with you. But let me fly to New York and I will personally evaluate the situation. We may already have the votes we need to ensure that the Human Restoration Act passes. Very well. Stanton, you accompany. We may need to exert financial as well as political pressure to silence Anyone opposed? Proceed. Elizabeth, I'll contact you later. It won't succeed, Lucius, even with Dowd's money. Do you know what Rand will find in New York? Weak, ineffectual men. And with Nathaniel Brown still an unknown factor. Of course. That is why we're proceeding with our ultimate strategy. You have claimed much in the past, Huge. This is your chance to deliver. Everything is in place. We can initiate whenever you wish. How secure your communications are. Jaina seems to have eyes everywhere these days. He and his juggernaut collective... Jaina's won't be an issue. I've made arrangements. laid the foundations. Now it is time to get everyone's attention. H, activate the sleep cell. Stanice Růžičkovo nádraží. Příjezd za pět minut. Jensen, just getting off the train now. Copy that. We'll debrief when you get in. You coming straight to the office? Unless there's a problem at a checkpoint. Your papers should be in order. Just keep your head down. Miller out.
cut off. Everything should be in order. No, I'm afraid they are not. The papers are no good. You just let my wife think. You, come here. Me? Yes, you. What name? Vladimir Shukas. Oh, so sorry. I'm very sorry. Damn it. Oh, poor. Damn Clank! Why don't you watch where you're going? Here, let me help you with that, ma'am. Ma'am? Seriously? I could have gone with Sweetie. You get my message about Dubai? Yeah. I'm glad you're all right, Adam. That Amber sounded pretty bad, man. Not something I was expecting, that's for sure. Any idea who hit us? Well, I'm sure your task force will come up with something. And that it won't be what the Juggernaut Collective digs up. Kinda odd, though, don't you think? Interpol sending your team, the Prague team, to Dubai in the first place? Miller said they were scrambling. Last minute intel. We were the only strike team available. Yeah, well, that's a lie. Better get moving. The Collective has been keeping tabs on all task force divisions ever since we slipped you into one of them. We've got a team in Oman. Could have been a hell of a lot faster than you guys. So why send us? I don't know. The task force is an Illuminati front, we all suspect. It doesn't make much sense to send it into an ambush. Unless they wanted our team to see something. Officially. Don't make a scene, Adam. Wouldn't dream of it, Alex. I swear it's gotten even worse here in the past few days. Everyone looking over their shoulder. Terrified Ogs like us are going to attack them again. Somebody probably will. Treat people like animals long enough, they'll start acting like animals. You say that like there's nothing we could do to stop it. I already tried two years ago. It didn't work out so well. So what? Are you saying we should just give up? Let hatred and prejudice take over? To hell with that! I'm saying I can only go after enemies I see, Alex. The men who caused all this, the true power brokers, they're the ones I need to stop. I thought you knew that. I do. You, me, the Juggernaut Collective, we're all trying to stop them. It doesn't mean turning a blind eye to- Then help me find them. about Dubai, about the Illuminati needing your team as witnesses, then we need to find out why. Who gave you the order to mobilize? Miller did. But it probably came from someone higher up the chain. Doesn't mean he's not in on it. Ever heard of the NSN? The neural subnet, sure. In TF-29, directors use it to plan ops and communicate privately in cyberspace. What's this? Whisper chip. Custom-made wiretap device. Janus designed it to fit inside the NSN's motherboard. Ah, the elusive Janus. Leader of the hacktivists. Am I ever gonna meet this guy? Someday, maybe. Right now you need to concentrate on Miller and find a way to access the NSN's motherboard.
Stand back, let me know. Feeling. A little sore, but uh, I'll be all right. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I've been through worse. Jesus, how fucked up is that to think, huh? Listen, Alex, my systems are acting up a little, so I've got to get checked out. But if you want to meet or what? No, 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 I'm fine, man. You just take care of you. This girl's built tough. Give me a call when you're useful again, okay? All right. Talk to you soon. Open blinds. Good morning, Adam. You have one new message. From? David Sarif. <sighs> Play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but uh, after what happened in Prague yesterday... Look, son, whatever reasons you had for not getting in touch these last two years, well, life's too short. I'm leaving for London soon, but uh, give me a call. You saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. Jensen. It's good to finally hear from you, Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my augs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Of course. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. I'll see you when you get in. Dr. Kohler, I need to pay you a visit. Jensen! Now's actually a really good time for me, like right now! Something wrong? There are some guys in my bookshop. Pissed off the valley gangster looking guys. So, unless you want bloodshed the day after a terror attack. The front door isn't the most peaceful option. I got it. Don't forget about. Doc Larry! Doc Larry! Show me latest papers. Otherwise, you cannot go through here. I know the drill. The drill has changed. Too many forgeries. All OGs must now carry a supplementary permit authentication card. Do you have this card? I'll clear it up with the people I work for. They'll take care of it. And who do you work for exactly? Does it matter? You worried I might outrank you? <laughs> of course not. These rules, they apply to everyone. Besides, I am regional director of the... Uh, of the document checking. I report to God directly. It is God who tells me that if you continue this way, without proper permit, I am morally obliged to shoot you. Is that right? My friend, I know what you're thinking. It's terrible the way they make laws against your kind. But listen, maybe I can do something to help. We could come to an understanding. What kind of understanding? 
Lucky for you, I know a guy. An expert in... Permitification. A document agent. He offers permits, authentication cards. Peace of mind. With his help, you go wherever you want, whenever you want. No more hassles. What do you say? This document agent you mentioned, you see the one in charge? He gets you to stop Oggs and offer them this opportunity to do business with him. Go see for yourself. My friend has documents to pass checkpoints, to keep police off your back, to get into parts of Prague you never knew existed. Tell him Drahumir sent you. You'll see. I give you address, yes? All right, give me the address. I think I'd like to see who's behind all this. Pshekashka. There is a courtyard behind the apartment building. Very easy to find. My friend will be there. He will get you latest permit card. Just pay him and don't ask question. Throne doesn't come over here again. Don't blow your cover. <sighs> Looking for permit. I was stopped by someone named Drahomir at a checkpoint. He sent me here. Apparently, you help Ogs with documentation, upgrade their permits. You have the money. Maybe. You want to tell me what I'm paying for exactly? You pay to get your name on the list. Melina upstairs. She works on your shiny new permit. You come back in one week to pick it up. Standard pickup fee will apply. How much do you charge people for this? Not people. Augs. 35,000 credits. You're not even trying, are you? You just blatantly scam Oggs out of as much as you can. You want updated permit or not? Documents are actually pretty good. You'll see. Trust me, the girl is very talented. These documents, what are they? Stolen? Forged? Invisible? Look, just give me what you have, and I'll put your name on the list. That's how it works. Melina does surprisingly good work. Puts more effort in than we ask her to. This is as much as I'm willing to give you. So what kind of shiny new permit does this get me? Fucking tourist. You're wasting my time, Og.
hope you're not Edward Broad, because you don't look at all like the picture. You want to tell me what's going on here? Arts and crafts? I think you work for those scam artists out there. Or do they work for you? It was never meant to be a scam. More like uh, social services for the disaffected. You know, like no og left behind. Looks like a forgery ring to me. I hate the word forgery. I prefer graphic arts activism. I, I help people to, to, to be other people. And seriously, try getting anywhere with forgery on your resume. You're involved in something that takes advantage of people, and you're worried about your resume? That, that may have come out wrong. I mean, yes, career is important, but it's not everything. I know that. I, t I tend to get really nervous when I'm stressed. I, I mean, I, I'm stressed when... Which always just makes things worse. Oh, okay, look. I have no reason to be nervous here, do I? You're totally on my side, right? One of the good guys. Not like Dravomir. I'm not here to make you nervous. I just need you to explain it to me. The essentials of what's been going on here. <sighs> essentials. Right. Essentially, I was trying to help my augmented friends. The way I saw it out there, the promise of fake documents was being used to extort people. How does that help them? The extortion part sucks. I swear to you, I'm totally anti-extortion. Obviously. Let me explain better. The government, they print up these official permits each month. But they only sell them to the rich corporate and military allies. Meanwhile, the other Ogs, they get kettled out of the city because their documents aren't up to date enough. That's what was happening to my friends. Government corruption versus organized crime. And regular people get caught in the middle. You gotta love the classics. When it was just me, I didn't charge anyone. But then Drahomir shows up and turns it into this big operation with fake checkpoints and ridiculous fees. I didn't want anything to do with that. I wanted to stop. Why didn't you? I was scared. Drahomir said he would kill me. Looked at me kind of... like you're looking at me now. You're not going to kill me, are you? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. Look, the real problem is Drahomir and that checkpoint of his. Without him in the picture, the rest of them couldn't run a lemonade stand. Maybe you could... You know... You think I just walk around shooting people? Don't you? I like knowing there are other options. Okay, so stab him, scare him. Or get the police to do their job for once. I remember Drahomir mentioning this cop who threatened him. She was hanging around his checkpoint. Who knows? Maybe there really is one good cop in Prague. That sounds like the safest bet. Otherwise, you're asking me to pick a fight with a bunch of guys in uniforms. Scam artists or not. The whole city would come down on you. Still, up to you how you want to handle it. Right. And just so we're clear. You are going to stop forging documents now. I don't like getting into trouble. And even worse is other people suffering because of me. No more faking documents ever again. Unless someone really, really needed one. Then I'd probably do it. I mean, if we knew for a fact that we could help someone. We should do whatever we can, right? It depends what you have in mind. The docs I make, they really can fool the authorities. Sort of. Sort of? Drachomir flooded the streets with forgeries. So the city started tracking more, adding scanners, validation numbers. Now, unless one of my permits gets activated in the city database, it's just plastic. So you're telling me these people pay for forgeries and then probably get deported anyway? It doesn't have to be that way. I have two permits that I literally just made. And I think we can really help these people. If you're willing. 
All right, how do we help? Their names are Edward Broad and Irenka Bauer. Drachomir was going to charge them like 20 more times. But maybe you could just give them the forgeries? Early Christmas present? You said it's just plastic that people get deported anyway. How does this help them? I think I know how to get them activated. As long as you're willing to follow through. All right. I'll go meet Edward and Irenka. In the meantime, are you going to be okay here? Once they learn that Drahomir's been taken care of, the others will leave me alone. He's the one I'm scared of. By the way, there is a safe over there where they keep their money. I'll give you the code. 2489. Feel free to help yourself. What about you? Way ahead of you. He showed me his credentials. Then... Not from here, are you? What gives it away? You just walked up to a police officer. And I have this funny feeling you expect something good to come out of it. I recently got stopped at a fake checkpoint. Heard there was a cop around here who might know what I'm talking about. Draumir, he's a slippery fuck. Pays off all the right people, provides all these bullshit documents that prove he's legit. Regional inspector, my ass. I'm putting a file together. A file? This guy's dressing up like a cop and harassing Ogs in the street. <laughs> Sounds like 90% of the people I work with. Listen, the right amount of coin in the right kind of pocket, fancy looking paperwork, those things go a long way in this city. Especially if the perception is that he's not really doing anything wrong. Just giving Ogs a hard time. There's more to it than that. That's exactly what I think. Why don't you fill me in? What's Drahomir been up to behind my back? There was a girl named Elena. The way she tells it, she was forced at gunpoint to work for Drahomir. They kept her in a little room and made her forge documents for them. Why didn't she go to the police? She was scared. A lot of people are scared. Yeah, of course they are. Prague's going to hell. The bad cops don't care and the good ones are too busy filling out forms. Fuck it. The Rahomir has been pulling this shit for long enough and I'm sick of being told to ignore it. It's official police business now. Stay out of it. Milena, I've got an update on your friend Dragomir. I've seen Drachomir pretend to be many things. My friend was never one of them. It's been taken care of. He's not gonna be a problem anymore. Thank God. I don't know how you did it, but I'm glad you did. Listen, if you ever need documents for something... I'll be fine. Thanks. We were machines, sir. But terror and pain have turned us into souls. There is something struggling within. Moments when something enters into us. Thoughts come upon us which are not of us. We feel what we did not used to feel. We hear voices teach us to have children so that we may love them. Primus, is that you? Are you a rank of Bauer? Who are you? Please take whatever you want. Just leave us alone. I didn't come here to take anything. You haven't? Irenka, she gets very scared. Whatever you've come to tell her, you should first tell me. I... I am the robot Helena. Irenka is not well. We must shield her. Irenka paid someone to make her an odd permit. To keep her from being taken to Gollum City. That someone wants to come through. Really? 
if if that's true, she'll be we'll be very happy. If we can stay in Prague, maybe they'll even there was once a great play that predicted so much. Robots, revolutions, the future of mankind. She memorized all of it. It's her way. It's my way of trying to understand. I'll take your word for it. Here. This permit is good enough to fool anyone who takes a look at it. Does... Does this mean I don't have to hide anymore? It's not that simple. You're still in danger. The permit needs to be activated. Otherwise, a routine scan will mark you for Gollum just the same. I don't understand. Sorry. There's no legal way for you to stay here. You should prepare for the worst. Uh, I... Uh, we don't know how to prepare. I'll take care of the activation. Just keep a low profile until I can get it sorted out. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much for what you've done. Thank you. I... I didn't know what to do. There are not many people a man like me can call on for help. What do they want? What everybody wants. Money. To feel strong. At first I thought they were here to take me away. Any moment now. They will take me away. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Don't get an old man's hopes up. Unless... My daughter? Did she send you? She did, didn't she? Why else would you? Please, tell me, when can I see them? No, that's not who sent me. You paid someone for an AUG permit. Do you remember? Oh, yes. Those officers who stopped me. Sure, I remember. They charged me three times already, said it was a very complicated process. I knew it wouldn't get me anywhere. But you kept paying? I was desperate. I would pay a hundred more times if it meant I could stay close to my family, to what is left of them. I want to stay in Prague. What happens if they catch you without a valid art permit? They'll take me to that complex they built. Golem City. Are you ready for that if it happens? Not one bit. I'm an old man. I'd rather die somewhere that's familiar than live somewhere that's not. Golem City. Pfft. It's for criminals and revolutionaries. I am neither. Where's your family now? They're here in Prague. There are places I can go sometimes, from where I can catch glimpses of them, and at least I know they're all right. You never speak to them? Maybe someday. I think I still have a chance with my grandson. Children are better at forgiveness than adults. Is it not true? They're better at forgetting. Why did you get augmented in the first place? When my children had children, I wanted to keep up with them, mentally and physically. I wanted to take them to the park, push them on a swing. All of this was before the... You know. Before the incident. Right. Incident. How ironic, hmm? I get augmented so I can be closer to them, and now... And now it's not permitted. Here. This permit should fool anyone at a glance. I remember the officer saying I would have to pay again. Is that true? Right, 
No, I'm not here to collect. I'm here to help. I appreciate that. So, what now? Do I have to activate something? I can put on my nice coat if necessary. If I have to wait in line, I'll wait in line. I don't complain. Your situation's a little less legal than that. Oh. Do you need me to break in somewhere? I'll take care of it. Just try to keep a low profile until I figure out how to validate your number. All right. I can do that. I will wait here. Milena, I met with both those dogs you made permits for. Now what? There is a computer at the government kiosk that handles the Augment Permit Registry. You'll have to... access it. Quote, unquote. You mean break in? The code to the server room is 6788. Be careful, there may be other forms of security. All right, I got it. Milena, I got into the Aug Permit Registry. Hold on. That should give me access now as well. Why am I seeing a security timer? Probably because neither of us have done this before. Cross your fingers. I borrowed this employee ID from a guy in a bar. Why does it say there's only one validation slot? Shit, shit, shit! The city has quotas for this kind of thing. Prague is designed to regulate people to death. What does that mean? The system won't let this guy register two people. Just... scan something. There isn't much time. Help one person at least. Good. Irenka's documents should hold up to any kind of scanning check now. She's as legit as she can be. Without actually being legit. I came here to help two people. It doesn't always work that way. Look, you need to get out of there. Please. Alana. That permit I wasn't able to scan. What happens to Edward now? He probably ends up in Golem. Or he gets arrested for trying to I use fake documentation. I going to the thrown into a cell somewhere. I don't know. Doesn't exactly feel like a win, does it? No, it doesn't. We did the best we could. Listen, thanks for being one of the good guys. Home system. Smart system engaged. Scanning bio data. Unauthorized presence confirmed. Intruder protocol engaged. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Please hold still as I scan you. Thank you. Welcome to your smart home system. Security is of utmost importance. Welcome to your smart home system. Your secrets are laid bare. Who 
are you? How the hell did you get in here? This is a restricted lab. A neon lab, isn't that right? I've seen what your drug does to Augs. Mm. Maybe I should call in the guards, hmm? You can discuss the ethics of Neon with them. Give me one good reason not to trigger the alarm. For starters, because I can move a lot faster than that's just yet. What is it you expect from me? I'm just a chemist here. I'm here to warn you. More often than not in this industry, somewhere down the line, people get hurt. And that means you end up having to deal with someone like me. Or worse. Are you warning me? Or threatening me? I'm telling it like it is. You may not be the one out there pushing, but that doesn't mean you're not part of it. People are so eager to demonize those who make and distribute drugs. And yet, what actually drives the industry? Individuals who happen to like the stuff. We have a right to do whatever we want to our bodies. Some want to be robots, some want to see rainbows. Me? I have no prejudice against either. I've seen what your product can do to people. I've uncovered your delivery system, and I found your lab. Don't think for a second that I can't do even more than that. Trust me, you want to walk away from all this while you still can. All right, all right, I got it. The American doesn't like drugs. So, no more mixing neon. I promise. Just stay the hell away from me. Please, don't tell anyone. Viznik's not supposed to be here. Shh, but I am here. I'll take your word for it. I was part of it. The, the, the hive mind. Inside the gate, I questioned what holds us together. Where, why? Now, now this, exiled from exile. I have been disconnected. Disconnected? Disconnected from what? I don't understand what you're saying. If there is a lack of understanding between my brains, may not always misfire like these. He did this to me. It's what it does. But I can't force you, because I'm not like him. Not like who? Who forced you? To... to... together. They succumbanize to him. Him, the, the opportunist. The savior. The rat. When I resisted, I saw. I saw. I saw! It made him fear me. Who are you talking about? Who are the people inside the gate? They are the outcasts. The illegals. The weak and the frightened. We found solace in him. Something worth defending. But it was not a choice. If it wasn't a choice, then what was it? The Pied Piper was a rat. His instrument was... was invasive. The others cannot hear it, but I can. The signal. I was too close, and now I'm too far. But you... you will see through him. Let me see if I got this straight. The Pied Piper led you down here. And the Pied Piper is a rat. Exactly. I'm glad we understand each other. Okay, okay. Just remember, you'll only be able to confront him if he knows that you know that he knows. So, obviously, you'll need the name. 
the name. I'm not supposed to give it away, but I must. I must, I must. And then you must, yes? You're asking me to go beyond that gate, to confront someone. Someone who's harmed you, who may be harming others. I'm willing to do that, but I need to know more about what's happening. He casts them close. He brings them away. You must find out how to... to... to uncotangle him from the others. To resist the mentality. They need to be eased out. Figure out what holds them all together. Because it's not his... his personality. When you finally see Richard for who he really is, you realize it cannot possibly be that. Richard, huh? All right. Let's go see what I've agreed to. Goodbye, fight. Outside of that, he's not one of us. Do not look at him. He will harm us. He cannot harm us. He will behave himself. He will be made to behave. Richard will know what to do. He will listen to Richard. Richard, protect us, Richard. 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 Come closer. Let me see you. There's nothing to be scared of. Everyone's worst impulses get checked at the door, yours included. I hope you understand the need for it. We preach pacifism here. Alternatives to terror. Don't want animals dragging in the mud. Who are you? What, what, what is all this? This. This is what the new freedom looks like. A collaborative elaboration of the imaginative experience. An experiment of some kind. We're beyond experiments. We're establishing truths. New models of belonging and community. Ones in which people can actually live. You are a little utopia. There's a man outside who... He asked, he asked me to come. He said you... A man outside. I know what it's like outside, trapped between acts of humiliation and acts of terror. Between resolutions and registry codes, the canned laughter, the scripted dreams. It's no longer a place for people. I came because it, I thought something was... It... It's wrong. I had reason to believe something's wrong. Everything is wrong. That's why we're here. Bracketing out the terrors. If only in this one tiny corner of the world. Allow me to suggest something. A version of you. A version that strips away all suspicions, free of the sinister cells we cling to along the way. Here, you can be free of the injustices, the suffering, your own animal impulses. Finally, you can be human. I may not know exactly what's going on here, but I do know that an honest man wouldn't need to hide behind a screen. I know what you're thinking. You can't wait to be the best version of yourself. Physics said they had to see through you, your attempts at manipulation, to see you for what you... Some part of you abhors violence. Some part of everyone does. See, I know you better than you know yourself. I know you don't want to hurt anyone. I don't know for a fact that you're doing anything wrong. That's because I'm not. Unless you count saving these people. We live in a world of brutality, repression, exile. The Restoration Act is the single greatest human rights violation of all time. These people deserve better than that. Most men who claim to be saviors, they... You have a skeptical personality. 
It's understandable. You're a product of your time. No one's forcing you to stay. You, you, you want me to leave? What business? I want you to understand. The people who choose to be here, they are good people. And with my help, they have done something miraculous. They have found a better version of themselves, of society. Promise me you won't jeopardize that. I didn't come here to jeopardize these people. That's good enough. That's all I need to hear. I can hear his voice inside of me, even when he doesn't speak. You are not your permit classification, I you are not your outdated documents. You are one of us now. We are versioning humanity. Get away from there! I... I feel different, strange. I feel as if I've lost someone, someone very close to me. I can't tell you who it was. Something has been ripped from us. It's not right. Something isn't <coughs> right. I, I need it, time to process It's only a happened. sewer. Just a dressed up sewer. Who are we? Who are you? I feel different. I... Why do I feel I don't different? Remember my name. Oh God, I must wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Richard can no longer persuade anyone of anything. The others are free of him now, just like you are. I'm not a model of separation. I questioned him and then I I'm not one of them anymore, but I'm not not one of them. You were right to question him. The fact that you were able to at all when others couldn't says a lot about your strength of character. I... 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 I became I again. Temporary signal failure led them to perceive me as a threat. I started thinking differently. I realized how... how... how there's... there's two eyes in Viznik. That's when I figured it all out. It's a good thing you did. God knows how far this might have gone if Richard had been left unchecked. How many others might have come and been persuaded to stay? We came to him because... because we didn't fit the so... so... social schematic, hounded by laws, 
hated by revolutions. He offered a way out, but there is no way out. Exile from exile is exile. You're out now, Viznik. There should be nothing more drawing you to this place, to him. You can go anywhere you want. You can do anything you want. I want to be... I want to be... I am alone. Jensen! Thank God! I'm down in the dungeon, man! You remember the title of my super-secret book, right? I remember it's red. Jensen! My favorite techno-wonder kind! Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? They're not gonna be a problem anymore. What do they want? You behind on your protection money? I... I don't think it's about money. 
I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. Vivali internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down. The day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. Took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know I've always wanted to get a closer look at those sadly fogs of yours. A real close look. So, uh... So let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then, well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Uh, feel my way around. Let's just get this over with. Relax, Jensen. It's... it's gonna be fine. You... you won't even know I'm in there. You'll feel weightless, far away, like you're someone else. But Kohler's gonna bring you back and make you you again. Before you know it. I swear I didn't mean to... Your retinal display should be back soon. You can still move, huh? Where, where did you...? I was... I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you got some strange fucking ogs back there. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have. Here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh... Just ease up. Don't freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Carl? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these... these, uh... I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. These are your implants. You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. David Seraph installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well... I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. Turns out your Factory Zero is not the standard Factory Zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. Hidden inside your body. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers. See that? Major spike in your power consumption! Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man, you want to use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just gotta make sure it doesn't fry you. Now, I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. Try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. See that? Cooled you right down. You have the power to balance your system if you want. Just, you know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. Okay. So I'm not always gonna be there for you like this. 
I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. I thought you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The shit I found hidden inside you, spliced into your system like that, looks to me like it's from Mars, man! I'm pretty sure they're not from Mars. I just... I feel bad. You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. I help you make the most of the new Augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraph installed all my Augs. If there's something inside me I don't know about, he's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Saris work. These new Augs, they... they look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoriological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Sarif, you need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. Have you ever seen anything like this before? An AUG system that's deliberately hidden like that? I don't know, Jensen. I mean, I heard of people getting the black market treatment before. Pass out in Prague, wake up in Shanghai. But usually they wake up with less AUGs, not more. What exactly makes these AUGs so different from my other ones? They look like experiments, is what? Loose wiring everywhere, man. It's, it's like half of you is uh, untested, unfinished, unbelievable. It's... it's beautiful is what it is. Why would Seraph have hidden these things inside me? I don't get it. I am not convinced this is a Seraph job. The tech itself is super high-end, but the PDOT insulation, sloppy. The bone mounting mounted on the quick. Just doesn't have Seraph's touch. Looks more like a retrofit to me. Something much more recent. Well, what are you thinking? I'm thinking how much I hate being unconscious. You said these additions look recent. How recent? Within the last two years, give or take. Something happened to you in that time? I was pulled out of the ocean and put in some facility in Alaska to recover. It was a few months there that... The more I try to remember, the blurrier it gets. Shit, Jensen. That's terrifying. This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here, take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. Keeps customers happy. Just, uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless what, Kohler? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Otar. A neuroplasticity calibrator. There's a way for me to use everything I have without compromise? I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? But... My last shipment got intercepted. By Otar Botkoveli. The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. 
If that sounds like something that interests you, then you should know that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. The entrance is in a small courtyard of Hlavni Street. Thanks for the info, Kohler. Thanks for the praxis. Jensen, it's Miller. Listen, I need your eyewitness report as soon as possible. What's your ETA? Depends on how many cops ask to see my papers. Fuck. Not much I can do about state police after yesterday's attack. Get in when you can. Miller out. Like I'm always telling you, Hano, people in all country are more than genuine. They treat each other with respect. If a man has something to say, he says it to your face. Politely. That is what... Go away, Clegg. We're closed. Oh, he is not there to gamble, man. Hey, it's you. Are what? You? You're Otar? I am Mr. Botcovelli. Yes. And who are you? I'm here on behalf of a concerned third party. Oh, you hear that, Mano? Our guest is a very private person. I found it pays to be cautious when you don't know exactly who you're dealing with. That is true. But sometimes it can create uh, problems which could have been avoided had they been more forthcoming. If neither man is willing to compromise, they cannot reach a satisfactory understanding. I would like to avoid any misunderstandings. Good. So in this case, since you already know my name, and no doubt are other things about me. I think you owe me the same courtesy. I'm with Interpol, but I'm not here to cause any trouble. Organized crime is someone else's department. I'm here to pick up the shipment you're withholding from Vaclav Kohler. <laughs> Vano, look. The only honest policeman in Prague. Kohler must want this item very much to send someone like you. But I will tell you what I told Kohler. No, he cannot have the calibrator and... You can't either. Dealing with Ogs is bad business. A point which some people in this organization have yet to understand. I see. You're a man of principle, a businessman who cares for the organization he's part of. But there's more to my being here than maybe you realize. Kohler is a friend, and sometimes helping out a friend in need is good business. <laughs> you see, Vano, this is what I am always talking about. Loyalty. So tell me, Mr. Friendship. How far are you willing to go to help out a friend in need? If someone needs my help, I give it. Any way I can. <laughs> it is like I am always telling him you can get a lot accomplished just by having a conversation. I will let you have the calibrator. Thanks. And what's it gonna cost me? Listen to the man, Vano. Even when he gets what he wants, he does not trust it. What shall we do with such a man? What will it cost? A favor. What kind of favor? Uh, don't worry. I will let you know in due time. It won't be too painful. Not for you. <laughs> what do you say? Do we have a deal, Mr... Jensen, we have a deal. Excellent. Upstairs, in my office, you will find Kohler's Calibrator. I will be in touch. You must lay. Yes, we'll take it here. What's the 
deal with the tripwire. Enough. Smooth talk, Clank. I'm impressed. Yes. Millions of workers lost their jobs when the collective. Так ты согласен с тем, что босс вчера сказал? Causing several fortune five. It does something. Looks like it would be a fun fight. All right, Kohler. I've got your neuroplasticity calibrator. That's great! I'm gonna pencil you in for that optimization procedure. Just as soon as I'm done with this house call. What house call? I got this other client, you know, doesn't like to be kept waiting. Neither do I, Kohler. Call me when you're ready. Adam, thanks for calling me back, son. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all... I'm not interested in your sympathy, Seraph. We've got more important things to discuss. Like my doctor finding dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test dogs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? God, you've got a Titan dog? It's impossible. It was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. It wasn't. The DOD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. These schematics you saw. Don't suppose you kept a copy? They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. He got his master's degree in Moscow, post-grad in the US. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were uh, sketchy at times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? The woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like your ex. I've got to find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon. I've got meetings with Nathaniel Brown and the Santo group there. But I can make phone calls, uh, reach out to people. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead, why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. My god, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraph. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. Alex, this whisper chip you gave me, it's an easy plant. You're heading into TF-29? Already? Our enemies aren't waiting around while we lick our wounds. Fair enough. There'll be a data port on the NSN's motherboard. Access it and then just plug and play. Or plug and record in this case. Got it. I'll let you know when it's done. You're here, you made it in. That's good to see you're okay. Hey, Aria, yeah. It was a close call. I got lucky. A lot of people didn't. I was here working when the first reports came in. 
It was chaos. Phones ringing off the hook, people yelling, scrambling to find out what was going on. Then when Miller told me you were there, I... I'm all right. Good. You looking for him? Because he's tied up right now and meeting with Leon, I think. Really? He's using the NSN right now? Yeah, I just saw him. Oh, hey, that reminds me, here's yours. What's this? The card for the shooting range. Chang changed all the codes this morning, said something about only giving access to people he's vetted personally. The bombing really freaked him out. Third one in six months, can you believe it? I just... I'm really glad you're okay. Thanks, Aria. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Yeah, I better get back downstairs. It's gonna be a busy day. Come by later if you want to talk. I'll be there. So, you've decided you need some practice, huh? Remember that, Agent. The right tool for the right situation. Could save your life. Now, let's take a look at the technical targets. These are tougher to disable using regular ammo. They tell me shooting security devices isn't usually the best way to go. You should try to disable them. Once you've disabled a security device, your armor piercing rounds will take it out more easily. You should always have at least one backup weapon, so you can improvise, adapt, overcome any situation. Oorah. Seems like you're warmed up now. Let's go over some of the other aspects of your weapons. Because it's 
silencer. Ah, back to normal. But if you need to be quiet, Adam, the silencer's the way to go. Just remember the decreased damage. You know, there are several other types of attachments you can use to upgrade your weapons. Keep your eyes open for them. Again, reloading your weapon before it's empty saves time. take down targets fast, but it'll burn through your ammo. That's your refresher, but I'm sure you already knew all that stuff, Adam. Feel free to come back anytime. Whisper chip is in. Weird, it's already picking up a freak. Jesus, Adam, is Miller in there right now? Shit, gotta go. Jensen, I need to see you now. Agent Jensen reporting for duty, sir. Tried to do it earlier, but you were on a conference call. Yeah, I was. Should I be worried about you, Jensen? Sorry. That blow you took to your systems. It's not messing with your head or anything, making you do things. I'm not gonna go crazy and start attacking people, if that's what you're worried about. You've been checked out then. The problem with your orbs is gone. I took care of it. Good, good. God knows, with all what's happened, I need you at 100% right now. You sounded pissed when you called me in. Everything okay? Don't ever leave the field, Jensen. You'll regret it. As soon as you strap a desk to your ass, you'll be swimming in goddamn politics. The boss is giving you trouble. What? Oh, that. No, the trouble's state police. They're pushing us out of the Razika investigation. I want you over there to make sure that doesn't happen. You're putting me on the train station attack? Not- PD's handling it. Good. Thought I'd have to fight him to let me handle this one. Whoever planted those bombs yesterday has a lot to answer for. Agreed. And we have to find out who they are before the state police fuck up our crime scene. You said they're trying to push us out? I sent Fletcher in this morning to oversee evidence collection. Seems he's being detained because he hasn't checked in since. 
They can't lock us out. The Czech Republic signed our UN mandate agreement. They gave us jurisdiction over terrorist investigations. Yeah, well, the former director of their security information services runs state police now. He's come up with a loophole, claiming this attack falls under the homegrown terror exemption. Homegrown? He's saying it's ARC? The Augmented Rights Coalition? I don't care what he's saying. He may even be right. I just want us in there so we can find out. So where do I start? Technically, you're supposed to speak to our psychologist before getting back into action. I don't need a shrink. Convenient, because she's not in the office right now, and I don't want to waste any more time. So how do I get to Ruzika? Public transportation's not stopping there. It will for you once I make a phone call. Head to the metro and call me when you're there. Good luck, Agent. Filling out supply request forms for McCready and his boys is tedious as hell, but I don't want to give him another reason to say no. Say no to what? Are you kidding me? Right now, you're the only active augmented agent we have. I'm hoping to change that, been asking him every week practically, but so far, permission denied. Really? He give you a reason? Says my stress levels are too high. Told me I should sign up for meditation classes and drag Chang in with me so he'd chill out and stop changing security codes all the time. It sucks, because I really wanted to find out who those crashers in Dubai were. You were saying your stress levels were affecting your chances of becoming a field agent. Why is that? I have a rare resistance to neuropazine. I need more than the average person, especially in stressful situations. They say I'd be too expensive. So it's not just discrimination. That would be easier to deal with. It's a combination of things. Well, that combination of things is pretty bad in Prague. And getting worse. I know. But Interpol was the only agency who would give me a chance, and this is where I was assigned. I have no problem with that. I'll take whatever they throw at me. Good. It took me months of rehabilitation, getting used to the new arm, learning how to shoot again, learning how to tie my own boots. But I did it, and I'm better than I was before. I want to help, and I can. My place is out there in the field where I can make a difference. You know that. And if you can do it, so can I. Don't give up, Aria. Semper Fi. Ura. I still can't believe Miller gave the gold mask case to McCready. Oh, I'm sorry, Adam. You were there too. You're probably as pissed about those guys getting the drop on the team in Dubai as McCready is. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Agent Singh might have been killed. It could have been worse. That's why I want to find these guys. Maybe I'll talk to McCready. See if I can help. Good luck with that. He chewed me out for asking if I could help with the case. I should have kept his new key card. I don't want him stinking up my range anyway. After the bombing, when Chang changed all the locks and codes, was he under orders? Was there a credible threat to our location? Maybe. But I don't think so. You know how he gets. Still, he wasn't the only one overreacting this time. A lot of people have been here for over 36 hours, and the state police have not exactly been cooperative. I can imagine. It took several hours before we got the security footage from the train station and surrounding streets. It's like they don't trust Interpol. It's weird. I can almost understand Chang's paranoia. Well, Chang doesn't trust anyone. Especially anyone in law enforcement. Well, if you thought he was high-strung before, the attack only made him more manic. He's making connections no one else sees, and some that may not be there. Explosions tend to damage things like sensitive electronic equipment. Right? Try telling him that. Well, I better let you get back to work. Yeah, sure. Talk to you later. Oh, my god, Jensen, I heard about the explosion. We should relocate. I was thinking we could corner Director Miller together, tell him... 
Tell him it's just, it's not safe enough here. We're fine, Chang. The police station, the train station, we're next. I can feel it. I can more than feel it. I can see it happening. No one knows where we are. There's no reason to get paranoid. That's where you're wrong. They're trying to pull the lid off of us, Jensen, or someone is. Praha Dovos just got hacked. Our building's front company. Thought it was fake. I wish it was fake. Miller's got me cleaning up in telecam footage from the attack to help figure out who these people are. Meanwhile, maybe they're trying to figure out who we are? Why else poke into an import company? You think someone's figured out that the company's a front? Maybe they know what's really down here. We have a lot of enemies. The people who bombed the train station, you don't think they'd love to know where we are? You need to help me figure out who's looking into us and make them stop. I'm gonna need more information about this snoop of yours. I don't know for sure that our cover's been blown, but if it has, we need to know before our enemies have a chance to do something about it. What can you tell me about our front company? Praha Dovos was designed to be forgettable. The kind of place you walk by a hundred times and still can't remember. It obviously caught someone's attention. What happens if we're compromised? My guess, we dismantle and disappear. Agents go into hiding, director burrows into some hole, poof, no Christmas party. You got an M.O. in this hacker? At first I thought it might be the Collective. But you're not convinced. Not Janus's style to leave crumbs this big. But, whoever it is, they risk exposing us. If the Collective ever found out where we operate... <sighs> My god, Jensen. Maybe Janus knows already. Hey, hey, don't say shit like that. I get nervous enough as it is. You really think there's a risk here? Maybe someone's just poking around the fake website of a fake company. If someone points a gun at me, I assume it's loaded. If someone hacks into the website of the company that serves as our cover, I assume they're doing it for a bad reason. Such as? Everything depends on who they are and what they know. But we're in the business of dealing with terrorists. If those terrorists find out where we are, do you have 29 likes its privacy? Sure. More importantly, Chang likes being in one piece. Unlike you, I don't just brush off explosions. I need you to find out as much as you can about our Snoop. Make sure we're not in danger. Alright. You have any leads? I traced our hacker Snoop to an unrented apartment. Top floor, 33 Halabni. Just down the street. This guy walks by us every single day. Probably walks in. You're kidding. See? You feel it now. The constant buried alive feeling. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought we were supposed to be suspicious of things that go on outside these walls. It's never that simple. Just get into that apartment. Access the computer they used and find out what you can. And be careful, Jensen. We don't know who we're dealing with. I'll look into it. As soon as I know something, so will you.
Chang, I think I have something on our secret admirer. Group called Sama's Dad. Mean anything to you? You mean those conspiracy nuts? Very bad for business. How much do they know? Not sure. Good news is I got an exact location. Find out whatever you can. What they know, what they want. If they blow the task force's cover, it's only a matter of time before someone blows up the task force. Don't worry, Chang. I don't want the walls coming down just yet. We're on well proud of the world. Don't shoot! Shit. We're journalists! Who invited the agent type? Who are you? What do you want? Why are you here? You, you here because of the Dubai story? The article about the moon base? The, 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 the clones? The, the clones on the moon base? Who, who sent you? I'm here for Sam's dad. You in charge? I take charge, but I'm not in charge, man. No one owns or detects the truth. Freedom of information is a collective right, man, and the, and the collective responsibility. That said, you gonna break someone's nose, you break my nose. I didn't come here to break anything. I just need you to cooperate. I spent my 20s in a commune, man. I'm all about cooperation. Good. It's about something you've been looking into. It's making some people nervous. What do you know about Praha Dovos? Well, that little import company? I know there's more than boxes in the basement. We've seen agent types come in and out. The place is a curtain. The first in a series of men. Pull them all back and you'll find... them. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a dead end. <laughs> right. Guys like you always come down here because of dead ends. Fine. Then what if it's something other people are already looking into? If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? Oh, I'm supposed to believe we're colleagues now? Two men in black types, you walk into pikes and they do it. But that's not how it works here. One day, you will all be exposed. If not by me, then someone just like me. Sam is that isn't one voice. K isn't one man. What exactly do you do down here? Sami's death is a media uprising. While Pikes panders to corporate tyranny and government bullshit, we pump out the truth. We uncover it, we write it, we publish it. We get our noses broke for it. So you print pamphlets? Well, we do a lot more than that. We got ways of getting into Pikes media network. That's how we disseminate information. Information you get by hacking into places you shouldn't. The truth is buried. If digging it up means skirting a few rules, so be it. What did you mean when you said K wasn't one man? K is an ideal, the intangible leader of tangible resistance. You can kill me, but then little K would become K. Kill little K and, and Bones over there becomes K. That's... there's always a K. And what if you kill Bones? <laughs> you can't kill Bones, man. Bones isn't real. I think he was one of them. He was supposed to be the Prince of Belgium, man, but then he broke his condition. We found him inside this fucking cult, all confused, so we reprogrammed him with the truth. Right. Suppose I needed to make a deal with Sam's dad. There's no one person I can talk to? Depends on the deal. I mean, there's always going to be an editor. Editor makes the final call on all published material. That would be me. So you could ensure that something doesn't get talked about. Depends on the deal. I need you to stop looking into Prahadovos, but not for the reasons you assume. You relax, I get it. You don't think I do, but I do. You've got to appease your military industrial masters. We've all been there, man. I'm not who you think I am. The kinds of people who manipulate the news, who cover things up. You don't need to convince me that's who the enemy is. The enemy is anyone who conceals the truth. And that's exactly what you're asking me to do. To pretend like that little import company isn't hiding something. I'm asking you to see a difference between conspiracy and discretion. Between people who hide information in order to push their own agendas, and those who need to stay off the radar in order to do their... Okay. Okay, look. You seem like a reasonable guy, huh? Hell, I've usually been punched by now. I find this 
absolutely refreshing. Here's the deal. We promise to forget all about Praha Dovos and stay out of your way as long as you give us something back. What do you suggest? The only thing I hate more than secret organizations are toothless media conglomerates who don't hold anyone accountable, who spit lie after lie after lie. So I propose a trade. There are places my people can't get into. You get into one of those places and find me some dirt on the real enemy here. Pikes Media. Do that, and I'll cut whatever you want me to cut. Who knows? Maybe you'll even learn something. You're gonna forget everything you know about Praha Dovos for now. It's the only way you get to protect your ideals. <laughs> right, because concealing information is obviously the best way to keep people informed. You really think I'm that stupid? There's this word you might want to look up. It's called transparency. It means people have the right to know, no matter what the cost. to something that's even bigger than you imagine, bigger than you can handle. Pull the trigger on it too early and you'll lose it forever. Yeah. Or I sit on it too long and then I lose it anyway. I, I don't know. You always have to keep digging. The, the truth, the real truth, it's a rare fucking bird, man. And if you're too slow or too careful, it fucking flies off. So, when I get so much as a hint of truth, I strike when I can, as hard as I can. You want to be better than Pikus, right? But what does Pikus do? They frighten people. They sensationalize the news. They misdirect. If you want to resist them, you need to strive to be objective. You need to deal in truths. And the truth is, putting Praha Dovos under the spotlight right now is dangerous to me and useless to the public. Wait until it's time. Okay. Okay, I get it. I don't want to compromise no one's investigative journalism. Sometimes you move too fast and the real story flies off before you even had a chance to see it. That's not what we do here. So you go break open whatever it is you're breaking open and we'll lay off Praha Dovos. For now. You're making the right choice. We'll see. You know, we could still use your help, though. Journalistic integrity may not mean very much topside, but it still means something down here. And that's why I think you should help us. You're our best shot at hitting the mass media where it hurts. All right, what do you want to know about Pikes? I want skeletons, the kind that companies like Pikes come all the way to Prague just to bury. Corporate archiving, man. Corporate archiving, huh? You asking me to break into a bank? I'm not talking vaults here. Ashani Talvar. The Palisade CEO. She leverages her clients, keeps information about them close at hand. She's got something on Pikes, I know it. I just can't get to it, but I bet you could. You poke into her office, find something that proves how nasty Pikes is, how much they love to piss on the truth, and I promise you this. I'll misplace any file you want. We'll see. <laughs> Chang, you there? What do you got for me? Took care of Sam's dad. No one's going to be reading anything about us anytime soon. Oh, I'll cancel the movies. How'd you do it? I've reasoned with them. They're not gonna give us any trouble. Reasoned? With the conspiracy nuts? I know what I'm doing. So, you got anything on Pikes?
What are you working on right now? What's your big story? We don't write stories, man. We bombard with facts. 63% of all earthquakes since 1997 were caused by geological bombs. D did you know that? You must have missed that one. There is nothing natural about these disasters. You like figures? 7.1 million Ogs left in the world. That's down 89% since the incident. Darknet Shatterman up 73% since that thing in Dubai. It's all related. You want a spoiler? You want the bottom line? I'll tell you. All part of a selective depopulation agenda they've had from the beginning. The means change, the targets change, but not the ideal. And our governments, they know about this, but the public has no idea. Why? Why is that? Because Pikes controls 94% of the world's media, and 97% of what they report is complete bullshit! That's a fact. You mentioned something about Dubai. What do you know about what happened there? <laughs> ex bell tower mercenaries working with local Slavic gangsters caught in the middle of a puppet show in the Middle East? The whole thing was carefully crafted for them. Crafted by who? Someone who likes to rig the game. Puppet on each hand, man. Where do you get this information from? Who is your source? Voices in the dark, man. The moment you fall asleep is the moment they start talking. Stefal, Kidara, Kilova, the Changdala. That's what I hear. Whispers out of reach. It's, a, it's like a scent. Something no one can hold on to yet. Ideas. But the more I talk, the less I can hear. Besides, journalistic integrity, man. We're not pikers down here, okay? We're one of the few media outlets left that aren't part of the global control mechanism. Indirect means on one side, direct means on the other. And once you're in the wheels of the machine, you're finished! I think I found the kind of information you're looking for. All right. Inspire me. Here. Pikus knew all about a recent chemical spill and what it did to the water supply. They warned their own people, but not the public at large. Better to risk people's health than to threaten social order. This is good. Very good. Anything else? No, that's it. Oh, that's cool, man. Uh, this should be more than enough. Okay. A Bones has been typing up a storm already. We pulled all our Pikes theories together and laid out some preliminaries. If you did your job right, this should help fill in the blanks. So we're done here. Almost. We need to make sure this issue gets the publicity it deserves. There's a city information hub we want you to hack. It's on your way out, I promise. All right. Okay, you there? Who, who is this? How did you get this number? I did what you asked. Sam and Dad should have no problem getting its message out now. You remember our deal? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't compromise whatever little game you're playing over at that import company. Try to keep a low profile. If Pikus wasn't gunning for you before, they will be now. Uh, don't worry. Just make sure you remember who the good guys are. Is there something I can help you with, Agent? I hear you're on point looking into the gold mask mercs that hit us in Dubai. Any leads yet? <laughs> Christ, I know I'm good, Jensen, but I've only been on it for five minutes. A lot can happen in five minutes, McCready. You check with the ME yet? Get anything off the bodies we recovered? Leftovers are on ice at the Oman substation. I've been told they were scrubbed clean as summer whites. No prints, no dental, no nothing. So in other words, it's no steps forward and two steps back. For now. That's why it's a good thing you disabled the Jin's comms booster in Dubai. Singh's cover with the Jin is still intact. I'm hoping once he's back in Basra, he can use his network to dig around. Maybe these gold mask jokers will ping locally. Probably another fucking jihad looking to make some noise. 
I don't know. I'm not so sure we should be looking for these guys in the desert. Ah, is that so? You have some new information you feel like sharing? Come on, McCready. These guys were augmented with military-grade hardware. Body augmentation goes against Muslim beliefs. They weren't jihadists. We're dealing with something new here. I can see where you're going with this, Jensen, and I'm asking you right now to back off it. It's not your case. Come on, McCready, we're not a couple of beat cops filling a monthly quota here. This isn't about whose collar it is. It's about getting the people responsible. Full stop. Look, I get what you're saying, but I'm working a $5 investigation on 50 cents worth of shit. I've got speculation to spare, mate. Listen, I know I come off strong. I've got three ex-wives that'll back that up. But that's just how I'm built. Putting on a show for the new guys isn't gonna change what's underneath. I can appreciate that kind of honesty. Good. So when I say I'm impressed with how you handled yourself in Dubai, you can appreciate that I meant it. With that sandstorm giving us colonics, stripping the juice box out of the chopper was an inspired choice. But that mission is over, and your involvement in it ends now. Got it? Yeah. But tell me, why do you think the bodies from Dubai were sent to Oman? Fuck knows. Rumor is that Oman was pissed that we got the green light for the gig in the first place. Can't blame them, really. You don't think it's strange we got the call over them? I stopped questioning the logic of the big noise a long time ago. What I'm told is, we were the only team ready to go. Yeah, that's what I heard too. So then, you know what I know. That everything? How the hell did you get such a sunny disposition anyway, McCready? Knowing about me is not gonna make us friends, Jensen. But I'll humor you, fine. I joined regular army straight out of secondary school, made UKSF at 25 and was recruited into the SRR four years later. Special Reconnaissance Regiment. That's an elite unit. Oh yeah, it was very glamorous. All champagne and blowjobs. <laughs> so what happened? Oh, after 12 years hunting terrorist shitbirds across every desert on the face of the earth, I found there was no fucking end to the evil this world churned out. I couldn't see the point in what we were doing anymore. So, I quit. So what brought you back to the life? I suppose it was purpose. A rust. So, here I am, back in it, serving my purpose. As a tool yourself, mate, you should understand that, yeah? Yeah, I got it. It was nice talking to you, McCready. No, it wasn't. Agent Singh. Wasn't expecting to see you again. In civvies, at least. Just passing through. I wanted to thank your team for the backup in Dubai. That sting went to hell faster than the storm did. You're welcome. But I don't think you came all this way to say thanks. Director Miller asked me to get Agent McCready up to speed. Now I have the red-eye flight back to Oman. Headed into the field office there? Not exactly. One of our black sites. I'll be dropped in as a captured enemy combatant. After I contact my fellow Jin prisoners, I shall lead a very convenient escape. Re-embedding with the Jin. Aren't you taking a big risk, given everything that happened? Eh, no choice. That ambush knocked everyone on their asses. TF-29, Bell Tower, the Jin. To cover all the angles, I need to go back. Hopefully my cover is still good. You killing the signal booster at the hotel should help. You're thinking the Jin can get a beat on our gate crashers faster than TF-29? Perhaps. They do not like loose ends. 
An augmented kill squad with military training. Have you ever seen anything like it? Yeah, once. But it's a long story. Did we get anything out of the cleanup operation? Mostly corpses. Heavily augmented, as you know. Under those gold masks, they were ID scrubbed. No prints, no dentals, no DNA match. Professional. Could still be X-Bell Tower. Plenty of men and material went AWOL after the incident. A competing faction that listened in on Shepard's sale. Hmm. It's a possibility. The audits and investigations of Bell Tower will go on for years before we know how many rats jumped from that ship. At least we recovered their weapons. Unlisted. High spec. Military grade augmentation. <laughs> Enough to build another couple of you. That... that is a joke. Right. It's the world we live in. Anyone with an exemption to the weaponized augment ban is a useful tool. Or a terrorist. Whoever they were, they knew exactly when the deal was going down. Any chance they were based locally, in Dubai? No. After the incident, Dubai became the world's most luxurious tombstone. Perfect for the Jinn, but for no one else. I thought human augmentation was frowned on in the Middle East. Why was Dubai hit so hard? Because it was another world. Two other worlds, in fact. One of extreme augmentations in gold or crystal. And one of thousands of workers outfitted for construction. Then, that day. I know. No, Agent Jensen, you could not. Some called it divine punishment. But that day was not the work of a merciful God. I don't envy what you've got ahead of you. Actually, I'm looking forward to it. The truth is, when you've been under for long enough, you won't feel like an imposter out here, in the real world. Yeah, I understand the feeling. Alex, did we get anything from the Whisper chip? We got something, but Janus provided the wrong algorithm for the frequencies, so they aren't getting deciphered correctly. Can you fix it? I'm a pilot, not a programmer. I can do it, but it's gonna take some time. the metro perfect timing chang says your private chariot will arrive anytime you call up razika station on the map chang you had him hack into prague's public transit company so i can get to razika plan a wasn't working jensen what's wrong what are you doing here miller sent me to find you thought you might have run into trouble he said that did he use those exact words because it's not my fault what happened smiley one minute I'm in there running the show, and the next they accuse me of trying to tamper with evidence. Me. Can you believe that? I would never do that, Adam. Never! It's our crime scene. Exactly. But try telling them that. The minute they went for their guns, I decided it was time to shut up and get out of there. They accuse me of tampering with evidence. They're probably destroying all the evidence there is right now. <laughs> you know, at first I thought this was about Sonia. Sonia? Sonia who? Oh, just some girl I've been teaching English to. Turns out her husband is a little territorial. You know the type. Smiley. Right. Back to the case. The thing is, I think I found something in there. Something big. Something that could just blow this case wide open. I just... I, I just need to get a look at the scan of the blast area, so... Actually, it's a good thing that you're here. I don't suppose you could... Jensen your way in there and grab it for me? So what am I looking at in there? It's a blast site. There's debris everywhere, and plenty of cops, too. Once you get past the turnstiles and security offices, you should have a clean path to the tourist office where they have the scan. But they don't see you. How many cops are inside? I don't know. Several. They all had guns, so I didn't stop and count them all. There was at least one guy in an exosuit. And my guess is they'll shoot first and bury the bodies later. What do you think is on this scan? 
It's evidence, Jensen. A 3D mass spectrometer scan of the explosion site. And? And, if I had one more minute in there, I'd have it with me right now, and I could find out. But the fact that they don't want me to see it makes me want to see it even more. I'm sure it's important. We need that evidence. Yes, exactly. That's the spirit. We need it. But you won't be able to just walk in there and ask them for it, since you're Interpol and, you know, organs of the, uh, hmm. So where do I find it? The forensic team set up camp inside the tourist agency, or what used to be the tourist agency. Get to their setup, grab the DSD with the scan on it, and get out. Easy peasy. This could take a while, Smiley. Got it. I'll get out of your way, head back to HQ. Good luck, and, uh, uh, let's not tell Miller about this one, okay? Right. This area is restricted to civilians. I'm with Task Force 29. Thought maybe I could take a look around. You thought wrong. This is a local investigation. You Task Force guys can go swing your dick someplace else. That's fine, forget it. Done. Bye. Smiley, I've got the scan. Yeah? Fantastic! Bring it back to my office and we'll see if I'm right. Copy that. Jensen, looks like we have a new lead in the case. It's gonna put you inside Gollum City. The Arb Ghetto. What did we get? In telecam footage from the attack. Chang was able to pull some images from it. Trouble is, our new psychologist <laughs> needs to clear you before you go anywhere. So I shouldn't tell her about this piece of evidence I've got for Smiley. Humor the bureaucrats, will you? Nice time for Bring Smiley your evidence and give Ozen five minutes of your time. Call me when it's done. I don't want Adam, I finally decrypted the audio off the whisper chip tap. Fucking cold, man. You gotta hear it. I have my hands full right now. Tell me where you are and I'll come when I can. There's an old limb clinic in the Daphne district. It's closed down. Nobody goes there anymore. I'll be inside. Adam, I'm Delaro Zen. I appreciate you coming in to speak with me, and... Well, I know you're probably getting this from everyone today, but I need to ask. Are you okay? I've seen footage from the train station, but... Being there must have... Is that what this is about? No. That was sympathy. This is a standard agent health interview to determine combat readiness. Here, I got you this from the dispensary. You got me neuropazine? Look, Doc, I was caught off guard by a terrorist attack. Might have knocked some things out of whack, but it doesn't mean my body's gonna start rejecting my augments. True, but traumatic experiences can kick a hornet's nest into the immune system. In patients with neuroprosthetics... Would you believe me if I told you my body doesn't reject mechanical implants? <laughs> no. But my policy is for straight talk only in the room, so if you want me to believe that you're some kind of medical miracle, I guess I'll have to go with it. Please, have a seat. I've been looking over your file. There's some very interesting history here. Mind if we take a trip down memory lane? Is this gonna take long? It says here that you were with Detroit SWAT, but left in 26 to head up Seraph Industries Security Division. David Seraph was at the center of America's augmentation debate. David Sarif always attracted a lot of controversy. Yes, I've seen some of his interviews. A firm believer in human enhancement technologies. I wonder if the incident changed his view? Certainly didn't seem that way on the day. You were with him then? In Panchea? When the incident happened? Not at first. I was investigating the people responsible for attacking Seraph Industries. I was this close to exposing them when the incident hit. You weren't affected? No. So how did you end up in Panchea? 
I found out Sarif had left for the Arctic installation without me. I knew it was still under construction, and most of it's where the damage had been done. Is there a reason we're dredging up the past? Because I don't see what any of this has to do with current events. Don't you? Panchera was the fulcrum, Adam. For you and for all of society, everything changed that day. They dragged you out of the ocean and into a world that hates and fears people like you. Which actually leads me to my next question. So far, no one's claimed responsibility for the attack at Rizika. But, with the human restoration vote coming... Well, it's no secret Prague has become the symbol of legalized augmented oppression. And the Augmented Rights Coalition is camped at its back door, trying to expose and resist it. Most of the world thinks of them as terrorists. Augmented terrorists. If it turns out they are guilty, well, being augmented yourself... How am I gonna feel? There are no easy answers, Doc. If the Augmented are behind this, maybe they felt it was their only recourse. Or maybe terrorism would stop if the ruling class realized how often their own actions contribute to it. So investigating Ark, there's no value conflict for you? Right now, I'm just a cop. And it's criminals that are responsible for this chaos, augmented or not. My job is to prevent further bloodshed. That's good to hear. Listen, Adam, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me. I didn't realize I had a choice. You didn't? Still, I thank you. I'll let the director know that I'm officially clearing you for the field. Well, it's probably best if I get back to work, Doc. I'll see you around. I feel terrible. Hey, how's it going? Do you have the scan? Yeah, it's right here. You're a lifesaver, Adam. Seriously, Miller was in a foul mood when he left here. I don't need to give him another excuse to chew me out. He left? Where'd he go? Didn't ask, didn't think he wanted me to know. Did those state police jerks give you any grief? They didn't seem to be in a talkative mood, so I left them alone. See? Without my expert advice, you might be dead right now, Adam. A stitch in time saves nine. So what's on the scan? Oh, that. I have no idea. What? You told me you found something, something big. I didn't say I knew what it was, Adam. I said it was something that could blow this case wide open. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not buying this whole Ark did it angle. I believe what the evidence tells me. This DSD has all the answers we need, from the chemical makeup of the explosive used down to the material in the victim's clothing. I'm sure of it. Okay, so how long until we're all sure of it? Oh, it'll take hours to sift through the data, and, and I'm seeing Sonia later to apologize for any issues I may have caused with the state police. Uh, plus, I do have other cases to work on too, Adam. I'll let you know if I, when, I find something. You do that. Take it easy. You didn't get held up at a checkpoint or something, did you? I'm inside the clinic waiting for you. Sorry, Alex. I'll be there as soon as I can. Hope you're not losing sight of what's important here. Sorry, this place just brings back memories. Don't take too long. Hey, glad you can make it. Any trouble getting away? Miller's been giving me some leeway, but not much. I did survive a terror attack. You and me both. God, sometimes I really hate the city. It used to welcome people like us, go out of its way to entice Augs to live here. This clinic was built because Prague saw us as its future. Now, look at it. Times change, Alex. I know, trust me. Even got the scars to prove it. We've been working together for a few months now. I still don't know much about you. What, you trolling for my secrets now? Just the good ones. How did you join the Juggernaut Collective? Well, they got me out of a tough spot. Before the incident, I was working for Bell Tower flying VIPs around Panama, and I stumbled into something big. Something very important people didn't want anyone to know about. So, they ordered Bell Tower to kill me. Janus warned you? Got you out? A friend of Janus's, someone in the collective who used to work for Bell Tower, too. You don't mess with these people, Adam. Not by yourself. I learned that the hard way. 
You're a valuable asset. The Collective could have sent you anywhere. Why Prague? You really need to ask? Ever since the incident, paranoia and racism are eating this city alive. The whole world's watching just to see how Prague handles its AUG problem. Didn't realize the entire Collective was pro-AUG. Not everyone is. But we all know our real enemies need chaos to operate in. Play the right chord, pull the right string, and Prague has plenty of that. You said we got something? Yeah, listen to this. A little heads up would have been nice. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Besselife, and Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send me the reports if you want me to prove it, because Ark don't operate in North America. They're setting up Ark, Adam. They sent you into that ambush in Dubai, and now they want to pin everything on the Augmented Rights Coalition. I told you Miller was dirty. I agree, it doesn't look good. He's pulled me off Dubai, put me on the train station bombing. I think he's about to send me to Gollum City. The Udalek complex? You're not gonna like it there. It was built by the Santo Group as temporary housing for transient workers. But now... Now it's home to every unlicensed dog in the Czech Republic. And it's where Ark's made its headquarters. Shit, man. What are they planning? We need to play this smart, Alex. Think about what we heard. What was that bit about Versa Life? You mean the break-in that never happened? Yeah, I started digging into that right after I decrypted the conversation. What'd you find? Like I said, man, it's the break-in that never happened. Versa Life is one of the biggest pharma companies on the planet. The only one still manufacturing neuropazine. If it got broken into, it would have been big news. So why are they saying it did? Versa Life doesn't produce just neuropazine. They've got a huge research and development division. Yeah? So? What does that have to do with Ark? Why frame them for breaking? They want them to look like terrorists. I guess it depends on what they'll say was stolen. See what the Collective can dig up. If this really is a conspiracy, that break-in will be the threat to pull on. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna finish my investigation. Find out who really bombed the station. I'll let you know when I turn up. Same here. Good luck, Adam. Miller, we still going to Gollum City? You are. Meet me at Kopecky's puppet shop. Your pilot's en route. I'll brief you there. Copy that. Problems? Nothing I can't handle. We're just waiting on chicane. So tell me about this new lead then. The IntelliCam footage. State police dropped it off this morning. Badly corrupted. But Cheng worked his magic and managed to recover some images. They show an org in a yellow hoodie, dropping bags where each bomb went off. You ran facial recognition? You got an ID? Couldn't see his face. But the bags are the same ones used by Talus Rucker and his aid workers in the Utilet complex. That's a stretch. Three bombings in Prague in six months, Jensen. All of them after the leader of Ark took up residence in that ghetto. Rucka needs to answer for these attacks. Here's chicane now. You're right on time. Agent Jensen was just agreeing that we need to bring Rucker in. Quick snatch and grab. Should be easy enough. So we've already decided he's guilty? 
We just need to talk to him on our terms, not when he's surrounded by fanatics. Getting into Gollum isn't the problem. Reaching Rucker is. Ark territory is fiercely defended. No one sets foot in there. Not even the state police. They can't. Rucker wasn't forced into Gollum City. He bought his way in. Blackmail would be more apt. He threatened to go public with evidence of a humanitarian crisis. One that the United Nations Security Council had swept under the rug. Got them to force the Czech government to hand over part of the Utelec complex to him. A little bit of hush real estate, so to speak. He stays quiet and guarantees safety for himself and his followers. Smart. So how do I get in? I'd made a deal with an ARC prospect named Tibor Sokol. Promised to get his family out of the complex, so long as he gets you past ARC's checkpoints. You trust him? We have to. It's that or nothing. Sokol will meet you at an apartment in the housing district. Number 237. Any questions? You ask me, Rucker sounds more like a savvy politician than a terrorist. These days, the lines tend to be blurred. But Rucker was a highly respected doctor, with no military training. What am I missing here? Rucker is a man of deeply held convictions, with an unshakable belief in his own righteousness. Doesn't take much to push a man like that to terrorism. Man's a zealot. He's a suspect. Just bring him in. You really believe Ark is responsible for these attacks? For all of them? Ark has had the means, motive, and opportunity every time. Even Dubai? Rucker and the Coalition are still confined to Gollum City. They have a heavy police presence keeping an eye on them. Gollum isn't a concentration camp. You grease the right palms, you can get the papers you need to come and go. I find that hard to believe. So get me the evidence to prove otherwise. Get to tell us, Rucker, and bring him in, Agent. Let's get this over with. Let me know when you've got Rucker. Goddamn, oh, Jensen. Every time I look at you, I can't believe the amount of jewelry you've got on. Tell me, how's that aftermarket shit working out for you? Never better. Maybe you should reconsider. What with that limp? No. I like my limp. Keeps me honest. You ready to light out? Let's do this. Good. Strap in. Game ritual you've got there. You getting pissed enough to end this guy yet? I got a no kill order. Is that right? Would have thought he'd done enough to warrant extreme prejudice. How far out are we? Coming up on it now. Not many spots I can set her down. Go to preference. Get as close to the ground as you can. I'll take it from there. Whatever you say, boss.
Jensen. Still got all your parts together? I'm fine. How close did you get me to our contact's location? Housing Unit 237. Jesus, Jensen. I didn't put you on his doorstep. Residential sector should be just ahead of you. Me? I'm gonna switch to autopilot, have a coffee. Let me know if things get interesting. Don't try and... If you're looking to take a piss, you can do it in the street like everybody else. If you're looking for Virzbowski, you can fuck off. I'm not looking for either. Well then, Hansel, you must be looking to deal. My name's Entity, and I've got the sweetest tech in GC. How may I serve you? So how did you wind up dealing tech in Gollum City? All the brothels were full, so I had no choice but to fall back on an old hobby to make ends meet. Which tech company was it that cut you loose? Bobson Synthetics. I was a biocell designer. Then I wasn't. The incident fried some pretty delicate shit in my hand. Can't really do my best work anymore, you know, but... Hey, whatever. That's downer territory. I get by fine. What do you say we change the subject? When I walked in here, you mentioned someone named Worsbowski. Who is that? My asshole ex. He used to run this place with me before he ran out. Thought you were one of his new friends. The kind of welcome you gave me must not think much of his new friends. Don't get me wrong. Ark does a lot of good in the ghetto, but... Your boyfriend fell in with Ark? Ex. And I get it, I guess. He always wanted to make a difference. R keeps a lot of people safe in here. Keeps them fed, clothed. They give a lot of people hope. I get that, but... I don't know. Something about organized anything scares the shit out of me. You think Ark is dangerous? No. I don't know. Maybe. Shit. Probably. But that's not what scares me. It's the collective, hive-minded mentality that freaks me out. It's why I stay away from religion. And book clubs. <laughs> so, listen, we're getting to know each other here. Is there... something else I can do for you? Show me what you've got. Well, if you're going to make it sound naughty, I have no choice, do I? Good looks and an eye for high-end tech. Mother did warn me. I'm hoping there's something else I can do for you? Actually, Entity, I think I'll just show myself out. Oh, sad face. Well, promise me you won't stay gone too long, darling. You people. Now what? What other lies have you come to tell me? I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm here to see Soko. He's expecting me. Which one? My husband, Dushan, or his foolish brother, Tibor? I guess it doesn't matter which one. The police took them both to the Narrows to torture them for information they do not have. It's been a rough day, especially here, I can see that. But maybe I can help. What happened? Like you care. My husband is gone. Tibor said he had a way of getting us out of Gollum City. A contact with... Wait. Who are you? I'm the contact. 
And maybe there is a chance. There's always a chance. I'm sorry. Normally they only take Ark members. Tibor is Ark. He has been taken before. But now, after the bombing, they come for Tibor. Dushan, he asks why, and then... They take my Dushan. He has done nothing. Nothing. Do you know where they were taken? I told you already. The Narrows. Instead of asking stupid questions, why don't you do something? Hey, I can see you're upset. And you're right to be. But if you have information that can help me get you and your family out of here, please tell me. It's not too late. I'm sorry. It has been very difficult. Tibor has been arrested before. He thinks Ark will keep him safe. The last time he was rescued by someone coming in through the ceiling of his cell. There are many places in Golem City that are unfinished. Maybe that can help. I think it can. Thank you. Adela. Adam. Chicane, we got a problem. Our contact's been swept up by the police. <laughs> I heard about cops in Gollum, Jensen. Your Interpol ID won't get you any kindness with them. That's all right. I didn't bring it with me. They're holding him in a place called the Narrows. I'll contact you after I find him. That's far enough, Clank. No one gets in the Narrows without the proper authorization. And you do not have it. That's a catchy name for... What, a makeshift staging area for your Gollum city op? Aren't you a smart one? Tell you what, smart guy. Keep moving, or I'll make sure you regret it. I need to talk to someone you're holding. Tell me, what's the going rate for cops in Gollum City? You're making a very dangerous assumption, my friend. You think every cop in Gollum City takes bribes? But, out of curiosity, how much are you thinking? This is as high as I'll go. It's high enough. Barely. Who are you looking for? Man called Tibor. You picked him up not so long ago. Yeah, first cell on the right. And that's as far as you go. In and out. Got it? You go nosing around, you'll get it shut off. Now move, before I decide to find out how some clanks got that many credits to throw around. Come on, Og. Walk those shiny legs out of my cell. Hey, brother. Watch it. The cops are everywhere today. I noticed that. Are you Tibor? Yes, you're late, Interpol. I know. I spoke to your sister-in-law. She told me what happened. Adela, is she all right? It seems like she can take care of herself. <sighs> yes, she can. <sighs> you know... You know I can't help you. It's too dangerous now. Tibor, I can get you out of here. And then what? They go back to my housing unit and take me again? And what if you're not there? No! No! Please, that will just make it worse. They know who I am, they... They went after my family. Interpol has promised to get you and your family out of here to safety. Safety? There is no safety! Only tyrants who prey on the weak and the innocent. All right, Tibor, listen. I understand why you can't come with me, but I still need to get to Rucker, or what happened to you and your family today will happen to others. I'll smooth it over with Interpol. Is there any other way you can help me? There's a man, a smuggler, Louis Galloa. He imports items for Talos, Neuropocene, whiskey. He could get you in, but you'd have to do him a favor. He likes favors. That's something. Any other ideas? My keycard to get to Ark territory is gone. 
One of the cops took it. Probably still has it on him. Thanks, I'll look into it. Please, I know you don't owe me anything, but if you see my brother Dushan, help him. If anything happens to him, Adela will kill me. Of that, I have no doubt. I'll see what I can do. Chicane, get a message to Miller. Sokol's backed out of the deal. Why am I not surprised? He's just looking after his family. Besides, it's not a complete wash. He gave me some options on how to get into Ark on my own. Well, just be careful, Chinsen. This arsehole obviously can't be trusted. Let me know what piece of shit. This is how it feels when you hold out on me. We should have a few more people at the main entrance. Try not to bruise you up too much. You like playing games? That's how you get off. Ah. All right. Have it your way. Sure, they have no other way in. Surrounded by planks. Those cops won't be a problem anymore. Too bad. I was just starting to warm up to them. I can try and get some more down here if that's what you want. No. It is better this happens now before I become too attached. You mind untying me? Sure. So, was it Tibor or Adela that asked you to help me? Or something else? man getting savagely beaten isn't something I can just watch, regardless of the reason. Well, you know cops, right? Assholes do not need a reason. I do know cops, and whether it's right or wrong, there's always a reason. Look, all I know is that since the Ruzika bombing, the police have been cracking down on us hard. They suspect Ark, of course, but they're blaming every Og. For most of them, it's just another excuse to hurt us. I thought you weren't a member of ARK. My brother is. I just repair things for them sometimes. Heating units, security cameras. It is how I earn a living for my family. Do you know if ARK was responsible for the Ruzika bombing? No. And I do not want to know. After this, I am done with them. Being associated with ARK. Even if they are our only hope, it is not worth the pain. Look, you want to know what ARK is up to? You're going to have to ask them yourself. Fair enough. How do I do that? When you have robbed the man of all, the things... He is no longer the... He has no more of... Shit! Power? Something? Freedom? How does it go? Are you feeling all right? It is this week's passphrase. It is Selznick or Solzhenitsyn. Ah, I got it. When you rob a man of everything, he is no longer in your power. He is free again. Just remember the quote. It'll get you past Lubos. He guards the way to the Ark Elevator. Just repeat the quote, and he will let you in. This'll help. Thank you. It is the least I can do. Thanks to you, I get to sleep in my own bed tonight. Mr. Jensen, this is Otar Botkovere. I hear you are in the Utulek complex. Keeping tabs on me, Botkovere? It is time for that favor you owe me. There is a shopkeeper named Galwa in the Sedri Markets. 
I want you to eliminate him. I'm not in the assassination game. How you take care of this problem is your business, but I expect you to keep your word. Let's talk about the Diwali crime family. Who are they? They're the people running organized crime in Prague. Their second in command is a man named Otar Botkavelli. Heard of him? No. I'm sorry, I haven't. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping you could tell me why he wants me to kill you. Shit! He wants me dead? Durak, son of a bitch. Sounds like you're starting to remember him now. Yeah, yeah, Otar. He just slipped my mind for a moment. That's not the only thing slipping. Fine, smart guy. I work for Otar's boss, the head of the Diwali family, Radic Nikolazzi. I spy on Otar's activities for Radic. Shit, I just realized. The other Pachyan, Constantine, he died in the train station bombing. You're thinking Otar wants to get the second spy, you, out of the way and make a move against Radic. I'm sure he'd love that. Those two have had their own private Cold War going on for years. But still, getting rid of me and Constantine wouldn't be enough. Otar needs to gather more support in Prague and in Georgia. But he could do it. The only thing keeping him from consolidating his power is... Well, me? But you're not really planning to kill me, are you? No, I draw the line at assassination for would-be mob bosses. Thank you. Thank you. What can I do to repay you? Name it. Anything. Vaclav Kohler. What's his connection to Radic? Wait, I can't tell you that. Radic will kill me. You said anything. Unless you'd prefer the alternative. Damn it. Okay. Radic, Kohler, and I have a trilateral arrangement. Radic has an augmented leg. You just became the fifth living person to know that. So, I get Radic his neuropazine, and Kohler maintains his leg. In return, Radic looks out for us. He's not doing a great job of that. You're lucky Otar sent me instead of somebody else. He won't stop with you either. I better get out of the country until this blows over. And I'll guess I'll have to retire the Louis Galois persona. Ah oh, well, I had fun playing him. Next time, try it with a French accent. Might be more credible. One more thing. Tibor said you can get me into Ark territory without worrying about any guards. He's right. I'll unlock the security door at the back of this room. Beyond that, there's a ladder that'll take you where you want to go. All right, thanks. Is there any other way I can be of service? Perhaps you'd like to make a purchase and contribute to the Louis Galois escape fund. I'll be on my way for now. As you wish. But I hope to see you again. Is there something I can help you with? You're Lubosh, right? Dushin Sokol told me Ark might have the answers I'm looking for. He sent me to you. Dushin? I heard the police had him and his brother Tibor locked up in the Narrows. Yeah, the cops were working Dushin over pretty good when I found him. Wasn't exactly a fair fight, so I stepped in. Is he okay? He'll be fine. Looking forward to sleeping in his own bed tonight. Not a lot of people in here would be bothered to stop and help out a stranger. What was happening wasn't right. You took on the police by yourself, on their own turf? And then Dushin pointed me to you. He was right to do so, but I'm sure he would have given you something more. Some wisdom, maybe? When you've robbed a man of everything, he's no longer in your power. He's free again. Spoken like a true brother of the revolution. I think I even heard conviction in your voice. I'll unlock the elevator for you. Go on up.
Yushin said some of the police are using the Ruzika bombing as an excuse to hurt the augmented in Gollum City. Why do you think that is? They're trying to manufacture a response from Talos to get Ark to fight back. Violence begets violence. That's right. And if Ark responds violently, then their case against us only builds. But <laughs> Talos is too smart. He won't allow Ark to be baited into a false confession, even if it means that the people we sworn to protect are hurt. Great, thanks. Even if you... Should have tried cutting the blue wire. If only life was that simple. You are lost, brother. It looks like you might have taken a wrong turn. You must be the welcoming committee. No. I am Marchenko. And Marchenko... He is more of a guardian, like the hound at the gates of hell, yes? I'm not real big on the classics. <laughs> that is a pity. What a man reads can tell you more about him than his face. Can I give you a little friendly advice? Sure. Go back. Go home! There is nothing for someone like you here. How do you figure that? You don't know me. I know this place up ahead. We call it the throat. And sometimes those get cut, yes? When outsiders come wandering in where they should not. I'll take my chances. I just want to see where Ark hides out. We are not hiding from anyone. Tell that to the cops down below. Do not listen to police and all their bullshit about Ark. Those Lupotia pricks are everywhere, breaking heads, making their mess, and we have to deal with it. Better watch yourself. They won't go easy on you either, leash or no leash. It's not right what the police are doing. Someone has to stand up to them. Is that you? Because it takes a lot to step out of line and answer back. And once you do, there is no return. Not everyone has the courage to take up the fight. You make it sound like you're in a war. It is a war. On us. On every augmented human. You see that, don't you? There is a moment coming, and it will be soon, when all of us will have to choose a side. Anyone who does not will just be in the way. And that could get them killed. I thought Ark was about preserving human rights, not advocating armed revolt. Here and now, brother, it is the same thing. What you're talking about, that's terrorism. Easy. I thought we were just two men, having a conversation, discussing the issues of the day. Like your friend Rucker? I see him on the net. He feel the same way you do? Ah, yes. Talos. He is a good man. Strong. Intelligent. Principled. You could learn a lot from him. I admit, he's got a way about him. He talks and people listen. But is that enough? He is no politician, if that is what you mean. Rucker gave up an easy life for our cause. He lives the struggle, just like the rest of us. 
I respect anyone with principles. But in my experience, that doesn't get you much when the storm comes down. Well, as much as a political debate stimulates me, you are pushing my patience, and I have work to do. You have had your warning. Get out of here, while you still can. If that was your recruitment speech, I gotta tell you, it sucked. The way I see it, after the bombing, tide's turning against you. Ark has made itself public enemy number one. <laughs> yes, it may seem that way. For now. Until then. Sergei! Be careful in there, Shire. Huh? Nasty rumors of a wrench getting scratches on his finish will scare the tourists away. Ah, yes. We'll be seeing you. Chicane, patch me through to Miller. Give him a message. Patch you through. What am I, your fucking secretary now? Jensen, I thought you were back on track. I am. But I need you to run a name through ILAC. Victor Marchenko. Got a feeling about this guy. Fine. But remember, you're there for Rucker. If he's behind these attacks, everyone else will fall in line. Chicane, I'm in Ark territory now. That flyby show you anything? First section seems to be a mass storage area. View I had looks like Ark has repurposed it for living quarters. Or barracks, maybe. Those two things have very different connotations, Chicane. Which is it? Well, everyone in front of you is armed, so I'll let you decide. Right. Tell me to calm down. When they... 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 They try to intimidate me. Get me to bring them here. But I refuse. Who? Interpol. They... They are coming here. The police know what happened to them when they come here. Not the police. Interpol! I... I... I, I think they mean to arrest Talos. Relax, Soko. If Interpol needs to learn the same lesson we taught the police, we will be glad to teach them. We will go to any lengths to protect Talos. Now go. Go keep your eyes open, and we will handle Interpol together. Soko. Oje! It's you, I... We came to you in good faith, with good intentions, and asked for your help. When you backed out, I defended you, and this is how you repay me? Why? You're right. It's true. But I... I... I had no choice. Can you keep my family safe? Can you guarantee that? No, of course not. So, I do what I think is right, and if it costs me my life, at least I have done right. Can you say that? I'm here to get answers and find out who's behind the bombing. If I succeed, maybe I can protect your family, and a lot more like it. All you've done is put more families in jeopardy. You're right. I know it. Just... Just go. Do what you came to do before I change my mind. I'm an arm. I'm sure you'll understand if I don't take your word for it. You're clearly very skilled. I want to thank you for holding yourself in check on your way in. My friends only want to protect me, but there's been too much bloodshed already. You don't seem surprised to see me. I'm not. After the train station attacks, I knew it was only a matter of time before they sent someone. Please, sit. This isn't a social call, Rucker. I'm here to take you in. Our mandate is to fight for the rights of the augmented. Communicate our message, offer assistance. 
The Ark is a non-violent organization. All right, then this should be easy. Come with me, answer our questions, and we'll have you back here in plenty of time to film your next sermon. I'm not a fool. If I surrender now, I'm never coming back. Once you have me, you intend to make me disappear. But I will not make Solzhenitsyn's mistake. My people and I will resist you. I thought you were a pacifist. I am. But I am more than a leader. I am a symbol. That is why you wish to erase me. If martyrdom is the only way to remain a symbol, then even my death is preferable to my evaporation. If I have to bring you in by force, I will. And your people will try to stop me. And neither of us wants anyone to get hurt, so come along peacefully. You have my word. I will do everything I can to see that you are treated fairly. You cannot speak to me of peace or fairness. Not when your masters hide in the shadows, manipulating, controlling, murdering without the courage to proclaim their convictions in front of the rest of the world. Come off it, Rucker. You've been preaching pacifism for years from your ivory tower. Now all of a sudden your convictions are really being tested and you're tossing them away. No! That's... Let me explain. The augmented peoples of the world have been stripped of their power. There are so few advocates remaining. The cause needs people like me to stem the tide of hatred before all humanity drowns in it. You're lecturing me about the state of all rights? I get the same looks. I go through the same checkpoints. And things are getting worse, so your plan obviously isn't working. I know. And it tears at me. I have been trying desperately to think of a better way. But so far, nothing. This is a very precarious time for the movement. These attacks are making everything worse for us. My leadership position within Ark is being threatened, and I suspect the two might even be connected. Please, go back to your people. Tell them to give me 48 hours, so I can attempt to resolve the internal conflict. I'm sorry. If I go back empty-handed, I'll just be replaced. Probably by someone more eager and less sympathetic. Coming in now is honestly the best thing you can do for everyone. Yes. I suspect you are right. But can you understand this? If you were to take me from here, you would be responsible for more than my death. You would be responsible for my effacement, the ruination of the Augmented Rights Coalition, and the perversion of everything it stands for. The bottom line hasn't changed. If you come with me willingly, there won't be any violence. You now have the choice. Choose the non-violent path, or you are the one betraying the cause. I... cannot watch any more of my people die. Not on my account. You have asked me to trust you, and so... I will. Before we leave together, there is something I must show you. I suspect there is a power struggle brewing within our organization. Some people inside Ark are less committed to our ideals. Are you trying to tell me you know who's responsible for the bombings? I have only suspicions, and until recently not even that. The evidence I have begun collecting is meager, but I give it to you. This is the key card for the security door. The evidence is inside. Why give it to me? Why not keep it, present it at your interrogation? Because if my suspicions are correct, and I am seen leaving here with you willingly, I may not survive to present my evidence.
somewhere down there, hiding in plain sight, is your real terrorist. I was trying secretly to find out who is responsible. Rucker. Kane, Rucker is dead. Come again. I'll fill you in when I see you, which is where exactly? There's some greenhouses near your position. Below them is a clearing. That's where I'll be. Chicane out. Jensen, the meter's running. Where the hell are you? I'm on my way, Chicane. Well, step it up. What a goddamn good Rucker being dead is going to do for us. Your orders were to bring him in. I fully intended to. Then how did this happen? Rucker was convinced someone wanted him to disappear. Instead of pointing fingers, we need to focus on finding out who it was. Before dying, he told me that outside forces were perverting the cause from within. He said he had proof. What kind of proof? He didn't get the time to tell me. So we still have nothing. What about Viktor Marchenko? The name he wanted me to run through iLink? We got back a blank page. Why? You got something more on him? Not yet. Just call it a gut feeling for now. Right. So like I said, we still have nothing. Christ. What a mess. You know word of Rucker's death is going to spread, don't you? And when that happens, the head of state police assures me Golem City will become a war zone. We can't let that happen. I hope we're good on juice, Chicane, because I need a ride. As for you, Agent... I still have a case to solve, and I know exactly where to start, Director. Smiley's had more than enough time to analyze that DSD I gave him. The one you took from Rizika? I'll check in with him, see what's on it. After that, I'll go where the evidence takes me. I intend to make sure the right people are brought to justice for this, whether they're augmented or not. Get a move on before this case gets any colder. And keep me in the loop. Let's go, Chicane. Alex, tell us Rucker's dead. What? Poisoned, I think. Holy shit, man. Rucker was the voice of the Augmented. People loved him for it. When word of this hits, Prague is gonna explode. And the whole world's watching. Listen, Miller's gone to meet with state police. Could be our chance to determine his loyalties. He lives near TF-29. You want us to search his apartment? Not us. Me. You keep digging into that Versa life break-in. And see what the Collective can dig up on a Viktor Marchenko. If I'm right, and Rucker was poisoned, all three might be connected. Jensen out. 
Adam, you there? God, You're not gonna believe this, but Vadim Orloff is in Prague. You're kidding. I wish I were. Six months ago, he got an augmented expert's visa and has been coming and going periodically ever since. She will Water control locked him, him in this morning. I arrived in Prague six She's months nice. ago. She's nice. Where's he staying? In the Lilioma Courtyard Apartments on Lavani Street, second floor. I like I'll you come here. Where is chance? It is not our Botko Valley. I have another delicate matter I that requires your expertise. I thought we were even, Otar. We will be even when I say so, my friend. Now then, to business. You will meet Mrs. Godleck, the owner of the Red Queen. I understand she has a problem, a problem named Dominique. Let's get this straight. I'm not a cleaner for the Diwalis. Why don't you send one of your own? Why? Because I am telling you to do it. And who mentioned killing? Just meet with Godlick and mind your manners. She's a powerful woman. Seraph, I found Orloff. He's dead. What? Are you sure it's him? Well, technically, I never met him before. I did, however, meet a doctor who looks just like him in Alaska. In that clinic I told you about? His name then was McFadden. Christ, Adam. What exactly happened to you in that clinic? I don't know. I was in the coma ward. It was run by the World Health Organization. Facility 451. Can you dig into it? Of course. I'm gonna search this body and the apartment, and see what I can find. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Vampire Reddit. So yes, Mrs. Gatlick. Boys can be such idiot creatures. Why is that? Something to do with the hippocampus, Mrs. Gatlick. Difference in neural connections. I think it's because boys think with their dicks. It could be that too, Mrs. Gatlick. I don't care what the politician. Master Gatlick, I am the owner of the Red Queen. I make a point of knowing everything important, but you? You, I do not know. Could be I'm not important. Oh, please. Have you seen yourself in a mirror lately? Besides, I have a healthy curiosity. It is important to a mother. Mom wouldn't be thrilled about me being in a place like this. Really? I can't imagine why. A good time never hurt anyone. Say so. Oh, but I do say so, metal man. And my word is law in my domain. So relax. Enjoy yourself. It's a very wholesome place. Wholesome? The Red Queen is a family business. My eldest son works. Come in on the weekend, and you'll meet one of my nieces, Agnieszka. She's the late show. 
You see around here, nothing comes before family. This place, it's a Diwali run operation, is that right? Half of Prague is a Diwali run operation. My family has a God-given talent for overseeing things, and well, poor Prague. It was in sore need of oversight. And what do you oversee exactly? I oversee this club, obviously, as well as certain relationships, certain efforts that require a matriarch's touch, and the comings and goings of certain strangers who ask too many questions. I'm flattered if that was a threat. Be careful, Metal Man. You don't really belong here. That's what they tell me. What can you tell me about the Red Light District? Oh, you can't be that naive. Then again, we don't get many of your kind through here. As clients. And why is that? Because the Diwalis control it. Now, if an Og's money is good, it challenges our preconceptions. We can be very accommodating. Still, when it comes to your kind, some among us are... What's the word? Skeptical? Yes, yes, that's a very good word for it. Skeptical. Especially when the Og in question seems to be all dressed up for something. It makes the other customers nervous. I understand your family is very important to you. Does that include a kid named Dominic? Ah, I didn't think you were here for the scenery. I'm here to repay a favor. This club is my confession. People stop by, whisper in my ear. Sometimes I forgive. Sometimes not. Lately, I hear one of the Diwali men wants to reconcile with me. How old-fashioned of him. He helps you out, you help him out. I take it Dominic's causing some kind of trouble. Dominic has made bad choices for himself and for his family. We have tradition to consider. So I ask you, what is the best way to get a hot-headed young man out from where he does not belong? If you know for a fact he's in over his head, why give him a choice? You go in there and you drag him out. My thoughts exactly. Not always easy though, is it? Boys can be very stubborn. And what did you have in mind? My hands are bound by politics. You, I think, have the look of someone used to working around political matters. Perhaps you could kidnap Dominic. I want to understand this better. What makes Dominic your... our problem? Sometimes the Valley operations need sharp young toughs who can wave a gun. And sometimes they need men who can look good in a suit and make allegiances. So which type is he? I made an arrangement for Dominic. I found him a woman, found him a place, away from all this. Where he was useful to the family. But he thinks he knows better. He thinks like Radich, Nikolaitz. He's a runaway groom. You wanted to marry him off, he wants to sit at the kingpin's table. And this costs you, doesn't it? You're very perceptive. Dominic is disposable to Radich, but to me, he can bring a more capable wife into the fold. My fold. Alright, where's Dominic now? What do you want me to do? They call it Hotel Narikala, an old Georgian joke. One of Radich's safe houses. Dominic knows we cannot interrupt Radich's hospitality. And that's where I come in. It's heavily guarded, I assume. Mm -hmm. And surveillance systems, alarms. This is the boy. So I sneak into this building, find Dominic, 
Tell him he's expected back home. No. You get in, you incapacitate Dominic. You bring him out and leave him in a cozy storage locker. No one can see any of this happen. You want me to knock this guy out and drag him through a building full of Radish's men, undetected? You're kidding, right? Where I am from, abduction of the bride was a time-honored custom. So you think of this as an act for equality. You'll know Dominic by his tattoo. Do not bring me the wrong man. Sponsor for my workout. Serious? Someone took out Golwa? <sighs> I told you, I told you! Cadlick, I delivered your boy Dominic. No one saw me go in or out. Impressive. How is he? He's still out cold. Might want to ease off on the bright lights when he comes around. I'll keep that in mind. We do want him to be as attentive as possible. I think this concludes our business tonight. Mr. Jensen, it is... Otar, I know. I can see your face on the info link. I did the job for Cadlick. She told me herself. It is the first time we have spoken in... Well, uh, things change, huh? The debt you took for Caller is paid. Perhaps it is now I who owes you the favor. I'll remember it, Otar. <laughs> you do that, my friend. Alex, I'm in Miller's apartment. The man keeps a tight ship. What do you expect? He's former SAS. Military life will make a neat freak out of anyone. If he's got secrets in there, Adam, they'll be well hidden. Everyone's got to tell. I just need to know more about him to understand his. I think I got something, Alex. Miller's NSN access card. He must have left it behind when he logged into his second computer. His second computer? Anything incriminating on it? I haven't checked it yet. But I'm starting to think the only way we'll learn more is by hearing all of that NSN conversation. Shit, man, that's risky. But we may have to. Why? You find something on VersaLife? It ain't good. Meet me in the small courtyard near TF-29. I'll explain. Alex, you here? Hey, thanks for being quick. Didn't want to be seen hanging around by myself for too long in case you got held up. I can be a gentleman, sometimes. You said you got something on VersaLife. 
Yeah. A couple of months back, a research assistant was found dead in the Rokaseka Beach facility. Special Projects Division. She was poisoned, just like Rucker. She? You got her name? Anik Norstad. Why? You know somebody there? Doesn't matter. Forget it. I can't stand versa life, Adam. Back when I was flying for Bell Tower in Panama, I stumbled into deep shit with them. They're the reason I've got a target on my back. They told my bosses to kill me. If they're involved in this, we'll get them. We just need to know what this is. Rucker gave me this before he died. Said it could prove Ark is being set up. The email on it reads like activation orders to me. Where'd he get it? Whose is it? I've got a suspect in mind, but nothing to prove it. Until I do. Can you get Janus or one of your juggernaut friends to backtrace the IP address? Yeah, man, no problem. Listen, about VersaLife. The information we found on Norstat was buried. Deep. No police report, no autopsy. Just a footnote on an insurance claim, calling it an industrial accident. She was working with dangerous pathogens, wasn't she? Supposedly. Janus thinks there's more to it. He's the one who found the report. Said it was... off. Off how? Lots of blank spaces and missing details. Didn't really go into it. And you didn't think to ask, did you? Are you saying I fucked up? I'm saying Janus thinks a lot of things, and somehow always manages to find the answer when nobody else can. You don't find that odd? I find it reassuring. The Collective has people everywhere gathering all kinds of intel. But Janus is what holds us together, helps us make sense of it. He picks the signal out of the static. And yet you've never met him. <laughs> Nobody meets Janus. Nobody even knows where he is, who he is, hell even what he is. We get used to it after a while. For me, the key thing is what he finds. Norstat was poisoned, Adam, just like Rucker. Are we looking at some kind of bioweapon here? Miller's access card might help us find out. How? I don't follow you. NSN exchanges are stored in the system's cloud memory. If I log in as Miller using his access card, I might be able to play back more of that conversation he had with the bosses. Shit, Adam, this isn't like planting a bug. You have to actually use the chair for a while. If anyone catches you... It's a risk I'm willing to take. Your call. But I want to be plugged in and listening the whole time you're in there. Just be careful, man. Call me when you've accessed the machine. Alex, I'm in. Anything I need to know before I start up this chair? Every NSN is different, man, so I'm not sure what to expect. I'm guessing you'll end up in some kind of virtual conference room. No one else should be in there. And if they are? They'll see you as Miller, so say something snippy and log off. <laughs> okay. Where do I find these stored conversations? Hell if I know. This is your plan. But holographic recordings take up a lot of virtual memory, so you may have to look in several places. I'll just have to play it by ear. Exactly. The whisper chip is still in place, though, so we'll both know when you've done it. Good luck, Adam. This is different.
Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Bursa Life, Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send the reports if you want me to prove it. Because Ark doesn't operate in North America. Please call Hong Kong Alpha One Zero priority message. We've got a problem. Miller wants to see a report on the break-in. What break-in? The one your San Francisco research facility is supposed to have any day now. What? What exactly did you tell him? Never mind. I'll take care of it. In fact, it may even help me clean up a related incident. What have you heard from our man inside Ark? Not much. He has to be careful transmitting. Rucker may be on to him. Then it's time for him to use the Orchid. Tell him. Killing Rucker. Are you sure it's a good idea? I mean, it'll certainly make things easier during phase two, but... Are you doubting me, Joseph? I'm merely concerned that the rest of the council might not like your call. They seem less cohesive these days. Rucker's death may upset some of them, but at this juncture, Brown is the only person we pay attention to. Once Rucker is dead, I'm positive he's going to make his move. Do it! And go. Alex, did you get all that? Hell yeah. Don't tell me this isn't the proof we're looking for, Adam. This is big. Janus needs to hear it. I don't want to talk to him this time. Set it up. Let me know where. It'll have to be somewhere safe. Leave the task force when you can, and I'll contact you with a location. Adam, what are you doing in here? I need to speak with Director Miller about my investigation. Thought maybe he was in the NSN. You? Same. Only just leaving him a message. It's about Vince Black, our organized crime division head. I'm worried. I was hoping maybe the Director had heard from him. Black's still deep undercover inside the Diwali organization, isn't he? The kind of deep that can be hard to swim back from sometimes, yeah. He's supposed to meet with me once a week so I can bring him back into the shallows, only... He never showed for our first meeting. From what I know of the Diwali, their influence extends outside of the Czech Republic. Maybe he's out of town. Maybe. Maybe you could find out? Sure. I think I can do some digging around for you. When was the last time you heard from him? First and last time was in his office a few days ago. He seemed... antsy, kind of nervous that I was there, you know? Well, then maybe I'll poke around his office a little while I'm here. Why stop now, right? Well, listen, Adam, Lyon's waiting on my initial batch of reports, and I'm sure Director Miller wouldn't be too pleased to find us standing in his office, so... Unless there's something else, I think this is where I'll check out. You mentioned Lyon is expecting your first batch of reports. You don't answer to Director Miller? I'm a civilian employee, specializing in habituating deep cover operatives. You're not an agent. So why did you choose to work with badges? I started out working for Lim International, helping patients cope with the emotional strain of augmentation. After the incident, I needed to change my focus. Interpol was looking, so I moved my clinic to the public sector. So you answer directly to Joseph Mandeli? It was Joe's idea to get a psychological clinic up and running inside our field offices. But listen, Adam, I have a small mountain of agent files to process, so if there isn't anything else... Is there anything in Black Psyche Val that leads you to believe he's capable of maybe undermining the task force? Is there a chance he's gone off reservation? Human beings are predisposed to damaging everything they come into contact with. Of course he's capable. As am I. As are you. 
So these evaluations you conduct with him, they're useless in determining a course of action he might take? I don't have a crystal ball. And Black's last eval predates my arrival here. Nonetheless, it's still helping me understand what he's dealing with on a subconscious level. That he may be in trouble. I wish I had something more concrete for you to go on. Joe, huh? Sounds like you and Manderley are close. We're close because I used his first name? Well, you said you joined TF-29 after the incident. I assume that maybe you and Manderley started together when the task force was launched. No, no, no. I arrived after Joe did. Look, Adam, we should probably get out of here, don't you think? Yeah, you're probably right. I am curious, though, where Manderley came from exactly. Heard he jumped over quite a few heads to get to the big chair at TF-29. Must have some pretty influential friends pulling strings. Why the interest in our boss? I'd just like to know who everyone is. If Joe had help, I'm sure it was from people who share his vision for what this task force could become. Anyway, listen, I really do think it's best if we get out of Miller's office before he returns, so... If you'll excuse me... Delara, I'm in Vince's office. I think I have a lead. An appointment Vince made with an informant. That sounds promising, Adam. You willing to follow up? Only way to find out what happened to him. If something happened to him. Let's not assume the worst just yet. Are you Vincent Black? It's me, Dobra Miller. Please, you... No, you, you are too... I'm sorry. I have made a mistake. I'm waiting for someone. I know about your meeting, and I'm as eager to find Vince as you are. Maybe we can help each other. Who are you? What is it you think you know? Vince and I work together. I know who he is, I know what he does, and I know there are people worried about him. Is he in danger? Has something happened to him? I don't know yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I get the feeling he's not the only one who might be in danger. That was some shot in the dark. You had no way of knowing who I was while I was here. It wasn't a total shot in the dark. You're obviously not the rally. Though I should have known right away that Vince Black wouldn't be augmented. I should be more discreet. We're both shot. What kind of trouble are you in exactly? Vince wanted me to tell information about my husband's operation. The list runs a. It's something Vince was digging into. Come closer. Pretend you're kissing my neck. Your husband runs a Diwali operation. I'm assuming there are people in here who know who he is. You don't think me kissing his wife might draw unwanted attention? Flirting is one thing. They expect it. He cheats on me, I cheat on him. But his business is something else entirely. We must be discreet, darling. Please. I'll tell you whatever I can. Whatever you want. But not here. This isn't the time to ask questions. You understand, yes? We should talk somewhere else. I am leaving by train tonight. There is a secluded courtyard by the tracks. Shikashka. Go before me and I'll meet you there. I don't want anyone to see us walking out together. You sure you'll be alright until then? <laughs> I've survived marriage to that man for this long. I think I can make it one more night. I'll be okay. I just need another drink to get my courage up and to loosen my tongue. 
We'll see each other soon. I promise. Tulare, you there? What is it, Adam? Any word on what happened to Vince? I just spoke to his contact. A woman he was supposed to meet to get info on some Valley op. Problem is, he never showed up. I have a really bad feeling about this. Do whatever you can, Adam, to pick up his trail. Let's hope he's all right. I think it is safe for us to talk here. Finally, together we can make Vlasta pay. Vlasta, your husband. What's this about exactly? You said you have information. Smuggling. Weapons. Drugs. Whores. You name it, darling. All of it is heading east. I have the address of the locker where everything is stored. And I have the code to get in. You will see for yourself. And then you will do what you think is best. You want me to shut down your husband's smuggling operation? Why? I agreed to sell out my husband in exchange for a new life. Vince and I were still... negotiating the details. You are looking for Vince, trying to pick up his trail. I guess I am negotiating with you now. How did you know to trust Vince with all this? What made you believe he can help? I didn't know. Not for sure. All I knew is that very few are willing to stand up to men like my husband. I had heard that Vince Black was one of those men. But when he didn't show up to our meeting, I don't know what to think of him anymore. I put my faith in you now. Do you know of any other ways to contact Vince? Would you know anything that might explain why he didn't show up? All I know is that Vince wanted information about my husband. And that my husband... Blesta knew the name Vince Black. He cursed it often. I believe he feared Vince. All this sneaking around, exposing your husband's criminal activities? How much danger do you think you're in? I don't know. I was scared waiting inside that damn club. Paranoid. But... I think the worst is over. I'll be out of Prague within the hour and he'll never see me again. Assuming you can pay, of course. What else do I need to know about your husband? Lester is like all young Diwali. You cannot argue with them. You cannot intimidate them. You cannot appeal to their heart. All he cares about is delivering on time. ...and chasing after women who are not his wife. Is that why you want to get back at him? Because of something he's done to you? I... I have no illusions about who I married. I know he was... ...ambitious. Eager to please the wrong kinds of men. But I didn't think he would turn into this... ...this monster. I want him to test failure. To have to walk home with his tail between his legs. If I get involved in this... There's a chance he might not walk home at all. What you do with the information I sell you is up to you. All I care about now is starting over. Alright, this information you have, how much do you want for it? The price of a ticket to Berlin. With enough left over to start my new life. That is what Vince and I had agreed. They say Berlin is a good city for those wanting to be lost. Here. The ticket's already been bought. Open-ended. You leave when you want. All right. Thank you. My husband owns a storage locker next to the Palisade Bank. The code is 2565. It is the centerpiece of his operation. I hope you find what you're looking for. Delara, that Diwali op Vince was digging into? I've got the address of a smuggling locker he was looking for. Huh, maybe he's still looking. Or maybe he found it some other way. This information, you... came by it how exactly? 
The informant Vince was supposed to meet. She agreed to work with me instead. That doesn't surprise me. You're good at gaining people's trust, Adam. It's a rare skill. Point is, I got a lead. I'll let you know what I find. Who are you? What are you doing here? If Vlasta sees you, he'll... Waiting alone was part of the deal. Vlasta, huh? What kind of deal? Why are you locked up in here? I don't know who you are or what you want, but me getting out of here is non-negotiable. You need to leave. I got a tip about a Diwali smuggling operation being run through here. One that may or may not involve someone I'm looking for. And headed by your friend, Vlasta. <laughs> Vlasta is not my friend. He's... He's a necessary evil. Are you some kind of cop? I know all about cops. The ones I met in Golem were very good at introducing themselves. I'm not like them. Look, I'm not from here. My name is Olivier. Five months ago, I was pulled from a train. I didn't have a ticket. They checked my name and saw that in university, years ago, I was part of a radical group. Fifty students, we were nothing. But it is enough for them to drag me into Golem. Since then, I have spent every minute of every day trying to get out. And now that I'm close, you are not going to ruin it for me. You're paying the Diwalis to be their cargo. There's got to be better ways of getting out of Prague. Not legal ones. Not for me. Vlast has my best shot of getting past the checkpoints. I got the rest of the money and now he's going to get me all the way to Rabia. I am not going back to Golem. Do you have any idea how bad it is? Golem was hell. It is hell. I understand doing whatever it takes to get as far away as possible. If you believe that, then you have to leave. I promised Vince I would follow the rules. If Lasta finds you here, he'll get paranoid and call off our deal. And then he'll call Vince. Vince? Vince Black? What's his role in all of this? He's the one I had to pay to get to Vlasta. You had to pay him where? When's the last time you saw him? Two days ago, the basement of a convenience store in Davni of Wood. It was not far from the gates. That, that is all I know. Please, this is my ticket now. Do you understand? Promise me. I didn't come here to get in your way, to keep people like you from escaping places like Gollum. Then walk away. I'll never have another chance like this. I've given them everything I have for this one shot. If I get recaptured... It's Blaster! Look, nothing you do here can change the fact that the Diwalis move contraband through the city. It's what they do. It's something they'll always find a way to do. You stop this truck and others will still make it out. The only difference is that on, I won't on. be on any of them. Truck. I need to meet Katka at the club by nine. Katka might have to wait. Who sent you? I'm just here to see my friend off, make sure she's in good hands. As long as I have no reason to worry about all of you, you have no reason to worry about me. See her off? This look like an airport lounge to you? I didn't tell anyone. I swear. Whatever you're going to do, Vlasta, do it quick. I don't like surprises. When people break my terms, it makes me want to break things. Or maybe not break them, maybe strip them down. Sell them for parts. You're a businessman running a business, Vlasta. Part of that business is built on getting people like Ollie V out of places like Gollum, places like Prague. Only way for you to maintain your reputation here is to fulfill your agreement with her. Wrong. My reputation is built on people not fucking with me. People not wasting my time. You should both be dead already. 
The only reason I'm holding back. You should both be dead. The reason you haven't shot me yet is because you know gunfire will draw the attention of every cop in Prague. That's why we both need a way out of this that's quick and simple and quiet. He's right, Vlasta. Okay, so let's say I'm in a hurry, and that I'm not eager to attract the attention of the police. That doesn't mean I have to take all of you with me, or that I have to let you walk out of here alive. There are quiet ways to kill men. Trust me, there's no quick and quiet way for you to take me out. Your only efficient solution is only V getting in the truck and me walking away. She won't be a problem because she gets what she wants, and I won't be a problem because I don't want to jeopardize her. All right, we'll take Olivi to Rabia, like we promised. And I like the idea of never seeing you again. You walk away and you don't tell anybody about any of this. Because if anything goes wrong, if I regret this, she's the one who's going to pay for it. For your sake. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. <sighs> Thank you for that. It's been a long time since someone did me a favor. You're not out of the woods yet, and I think you know that. I'm giving you a way to contact me, if anything goes wrong. Hey, lovebirds, we're on a schedule. Let's wrap this I'll up. I'll be fine. I promise. Here. I was saving this for when I got to Rabia, but I think you should have it. It's the least I can do. Delara, I found Vince. You were right to have a bad feeling. What are you saying, Adam? Is he... Yeah. <sighs> he should have been pulled months ago. It's all over his profile. Vince... Lost his edge. A person tries to be two things at once, sometimes he ends up not being either of them. He becomes lost. I'll take your word for it. I'm gonna let you be the one to break this to Miller. Right. Of course. Send me to check on my progress. Really, I said it would be done when it's done. You can't rush these things, Adam. Excellence takes time. Right. So, well, I was right. Am I good or am I good? What did you find? Oh, just some isolated fragments from what looks like the bomb's timing mechanism. And get this. It's a Stanek. A Stanek? The bomb's timing mechanism was a wristwatch? Well, to address your incredulous tone, a mechanical timing mechanism is not as silly as it sounds. Security scanners can detect anything with a suspicious electronic circuit, so... using a low-tech solution is really clever. Stanek watches are custom-made locally. I think I'll pay the shop a visit. Hmm, it's probably closed. Let's see if I can find you a second option. Yeah, got it. Nomad Stanek, founder and owner of the store, lives in the Davnia Vod district near Pilgrim Station. That's Putnik Nadraji in Czech, I, I think. Building number 96, second floor. Thanks, I'll check it out. 
Great. Let me know how it goes. Smiley, Static wasn't at his apartment, but I did find what looked like bomb-making equipment, and a trap set by the Diwali. You're kidding! I also found out where he might be. The Red Light District, at a bar across the street from the Red Queen. I'm heading there now. We have a couple of agents in that district watching the Diwali now. I'll send them over. Hey, Copy that. I am a citizen! I have rights! You cannot detain me without charging me! This I know! And I know you're gonna sit there quietly and wait with us like a good little watchmaker. I've got this, Agent Riley. You and your partner can relax for a few minutes. Wait a minute. I know you. You've been in my shop. What is this? You have some things to answer for, Mr. Static. We have evidence linking you and your shop to the train station bombing. Bombing? No! I would never... I, I wouldn't even know where to start. You have the wrong man. Do I? Convince me. I have a timing device with your name on it, and I found the tools to make even more bombs in your apartment. What else am I supposed to think? But you've been to my shop. You know I fix watches. I don't make bombs. No. Those tools aren't mine. They belong to my... Your daughter? No. No. Look. Take me in. I'm the one you're looking for, not her. I... I have made bombs for them. I don't think so. Protecting your daughter is admirable, Mr. Stanek. But you're not doing her any good by taking the blame. You need to tell me what you know. I... You are right, I know. Allison was in the military. She always wanted to belong, to be part of something greater than herself. She was such a beautiful child. Gifted. What happened? After the incident, she met some people. They use her. Parasites! And, and now, now, they have taken her! You must help! She is not to blame for this! She has been coerced! Calm down. What do you mean they've taken her? Allison and I were supposed to meet here tonight. Instead, one of them came by, spewing curses about fleshers and naturals. He gave me a message from her. She was... She was saying goodbye. But she would never... They used her. And now they intend to make her disappear. Does your daughter have the expertise to do this? Much more than I do. She was in the military. EOD, they called it. Explosive Ordnance Disposal. The bomb squad? Yes. She was happy in the military. They augmented her, rebuilt her to make her better at what she did. But after the incident, she was dishonorably discharged. She was lost. That's when these new friends found her. Ugh. They exploited her, and now they plan to discard her. What do you know about these friends of hers? Other than they were augmented? Not much. They only spoke to Allison when they came to the shop. As if anyone unaugmented was beneath them. They 
kept talking about the ascension, whatever that is. Your apartment was booby-trapped by Radich Nikoladze. What? Why was he...? I guess friendship means nothing to a thug. What happened? I was never a wealthy man, but my shop is well-known and respected. Radich liked my watches. He knew I needed money after what happened to Allison, so we strike a deal. But deals are like beautiful women to that man. A better one always comes around. Where can I find Allison, Mr. Stanek? I wish I knew. I would go and get her away from those people. I was about to go looking for her when your goons showed up. We'll find her. I need you to go with these agents. I'll have some more questions for you. No! I have to go! I have to help her! She's... She's all I have. Please, let us do our job. Find my daughter, or I will. Allison, ex-military EOD. She might be the bomb maker. So what's our next move? Stanek says he doesn't know where she is, but I think he's hiding something. The agents are bringing him in. Until he gives her up, this investigation is stalled. I'll make sure they lean on him, see what he knows. Good. Let me know what happens. Did I see Nomad Stanek getting away? Adam, Janus heard the NSN conversation we recovered. He agrees you two should meet. Good. Just tell me where. There's an abandoned tourist information center in the central plaza. Make sure you're not followed. And I got something on Marchenko for you, too. Details are on a pocket secretary near the meetup point. Look for a trash bin with a chalk mark above it. You'll find it near the metro. Got it. So I'll bet you anything she got involved in something, and the stick rubbed off on him. Unequivocally false. The goal of the legislation was to... Once upon a time, I could have shot newspapers off my life. Was another reason to hate technology. You do not think they might try to fight back, do you? We're in this to the radar Janus, if this is your idea of a face-to-face -face meeting, I'm not impressed. You didn't think I would jump on a plane to Prague, did you? I guess not. The conversation we recovered. You know who Manderley was talking to, don't you? Robert Page, CEO of Page Industries and owner of the First Life Corporation. He's a multi-billionaire. Doesn't mean we can't arrest both of them for conspiracy to commit murder. We heard Page give the order to kill Rucker. In a recorded conversation that you obtained illegally. It's fruit from the poisonous tree, Mr. Jensen. It won't stand up in court. What about this orchid, then? Can we find out more about it? I think we should find out. I'm digging on my end, but there may be something you can do in Prague. First Life has an account at the Palisade Property Bank. If you can get to their data vault, we may find some of the answers we're looking for. You're telling me to break into a bank? Ark is being manipulated, set up to take the fall for something. Most likely another terror attack. Fine. What about this Brown? Page mentioned him and some sort of council. Nathaniel Brown, maybe, head of the Santo Group? Perhaps. Nathaniel Brown stands to earn trillions if the Human Restoration Act passes, but... Janus. Adam! The site's been compromised. I just spotted sentry drones headed your way. What? How? I wasn't followed. Maybe somebody at PRE detected genius and hack into the electrical grid. I don't know. Just get out of there. Mr. Jensen, it's Nomad Stanek. Please, please, you must help me. Mr. Stanek, how did you... My daughter. They're going to kill her. I gave your friends the slip, and when, when I got to here... Where? The Prakaska district, an apartment complex behind the laundromat. Please, hurry. Adam, you okay? Those drones... I'm fine. Whoever sent them didn't succeed. Oh, thank God for that. Listen, 
Janus just called. Versa Life is closing their account, moving everything out of that data vault tonight. This can't wait. You gotta get over there now. I can't. I found the bomb maker. She can tell us everything. But she's about to be killed. What? Shit, man, they're cleaning up Blue Sands. I can't break into a bank, not by myself. And if we don't do this now, we lose the Orchid. Fuck! But if I don't go to the Prokowska district, the bomb maker dies, and we're back to square one. <sighs> Your call, man. Alex, did Janus actually have a plan for this robbery? Or does he expect me to shoot my way to the vault? He had someone slip a package into the bank manager's car. Someone? It's parked in the employee parking garage. Let me know when you've got it. I'm... Glad you're doing this, Adam. Moving on audio. Okay, Alex, I got the package. Now what? There's supposed to be a data rod and an access card inside, but the card is blank. Janus said we need to imprint it with biometrics from an active account holder. So what? Kidnap somebody and steal their DNA? <laughs> Maybe next week. Tonight we can get what's needed from an office on the third floor. According to a contact, the bank keeps Klein's profiles on a secure terminal there. So all I gotta do is get through security to find it. Great. Jensen, it's Smiley. Your friend, Nomad Stanek, escaped custody. Agent Riley said he was... Yeah, I heard. His daughter's in trouble. Trouble? What kind of... Alex, you still with me? I'm accessing the biometric terminal now. How's this supposed to work? The way Janus explained it, malware on the card will look for the profile of an authorized Versalife representative and clone it. I thought he said the card was blank. Technically, I said it. Sorry. But the card should be active now. Find the elevator to the basement and try it. Irresponsible journalist. It can the access card worked, Alex. I'm in the elevator, heading down. Janus is good, man. He said security measures prevent wireless communications near the vault, so you and I will lose contact soon. Meaning I'll be on my own from here on in. Just until you enter the Versalife vault and plug the data rod into their terminal. Janus should be able to contact you directly once it's installed. He had me load a bunch of malware on it. Of course, you have to reach the vault access room and call down the Versalife vault first. If you're stopped by security... Janus, can you hear me? Yes. The link is weak, but I can strengthen it. Wait, what are you doing? The data rod contains a secret program. It's flagging everything it finds on Project Orchid and sending it to me. Wait, wait, that's an audio file. Can I hear it? Hello? Bob, it's Megan. Those Orchid samples you told my new assistant to send to Switzerland? I asked him not to bother you with that. It's okay. I told him he could. But it's just... I've never heard of this guard facility before. A recent acquisition. I don't have to take you there someday. That's not necessary. Listen, the changes we made to the Orchid's CAS enzymes, they're incredibly dangerous. Until we perfect the replacement-based fragment, GARM's researchers must keep a neutralizing enzyme on hand. I've read your reports, Megan. I know all about the failures of the CRISPR molecule. I'm even keeping a sample of the neutralizer inside a secure vault in case your research gets corrupted. You are? Trust me, you have nothing to worry about. Thank you. I just... Wanted to be sure this time. Good night, Bob. Good night, my dear. Megan. Dr. Reed, you seem disappointed. She joined Versalife shortly before Seraph Industries closed. I assumed you knew. I don't suppose you know anything about this facility in Switzerland. Garm, I've been digging into it ever since your ex said the name. It was a geological research center until 2025, when Bell Tower Associates bought it. They didn't list it on their balance sheet when they filed for bankruptcy. Yeah. I guess they also forgot to mention the spec ops unit that went AWOL. I have to get to Garm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking about the augmented mercs who ambushed us in Dubai. If Paige sent them the Orchid. That's everything. Unless they're storing something physical in there. Either way, I suggest you leave soon. With the vault in that position, you should be able to exit through the shaft. Good luck, Mr. Jensen. And please don't forget the data rod when you leave.
Janus, can you hear me? I think I found that neutralizing enzyme Megan and Paige were talking about. We don't have a lot of time, Mr. Jensen. We'll lose contact. No problem, I got this one. I might be able to save a life or two with this, if the Orchid shows up again. Miller, it's Jensen. I've got a lead on the augmented mercs who ambushed us in Dubai. You're supposed to be investigating the train station attack. Just hear me out. There's a research facility. Not like this, you don't. I'm en route to Prague now. She'll be landing at Chicane's helipad any minute. I'll hear you out there. Miller out. Jensen, you still got that calibrator on you? If you do, man, I'm ready to optimize that crazy system of yours. I got everything I need now to fix you up real good. You mean the way you fixed me up last time? No, no, no. This is gonna be different, huh? On Vaclav's honor. Just get to the lab, and you'll see. Shit. Did you hear? Talos Rucker's dead. I heard that somewhere, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Now we can get some real progress. He was making us look like wimps. That's a little harsh, isn't it? Rucker didn't deserve what happened to him. Something tells me our politics aren't the same, Jensen. Me, I think this whole martyr thing is exactly what we need. But, um, let's maybe focus on things we can agree on, huh? Like optimizing that uh, crazy rig of yours. You got a calibrator for me or what? You really think Rucker was the problem? That his death is somehow going to make things better for Augs? I don't think he was the solution. We need a new leader. Someone a little less beardy, make fancy diploma. Someone who's going to fight, you know? Stand up to some of these bullshit laws. You hear about the Human Restoration Act? Yeah. If the restoration vote passes, I don't know that it's going to matter very much who the leader is. It's gonna be a government-mandated horror show, is what it's gonna be. Men in white coats pulling out augmentations like they are... Speaking of medical horrors, you ready for me to fix you or what? This procedure. There won't be any surprises like last time. Last time I was surprised by your crazy tech. But now is totally different. Now I know what's under that hood of yours. And you got me the tool I need. Changes everything. So what are you gonna do exactly? I'm gonna optimize your system. No more worrying about overheating. No more worrying about glitches. Jensen 2.0. Sounds pretty good, right? All right. Please, tell me this is what a neuroplasticity calibrator looks like. That's the one! Okay, this won't take long, I promise. And don't worry, man, I never screw up two in a row. Spent a lot of time prepping for this one. Just try not to take anything. That wasn't so bad, right? How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel lighter. I fixed you. Death to all your limits. Whatever implant you want to activate, you activate. Zero consequences. That sounds pretty good. Thanks, Kohler. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out there and make me proud. Go make use of all that cool shit. Adam, it's Arya. I just heard what happened. God, right outside your apartment? What happened outside my apartment? Someone got all their implants torn out. Was left to bleed to death in the alley. When I first heard where it was, I thought... I'm fine, Arya. It wasn't me. Be careful going home. It's not the first one of these I've heard about. Let's cover her up. Sir, shouldn't we be arresting... You know who? By now? Ah, uh, John is not going anywhere. What's your hurry? 
I was given the same orders you were, sir. I know all about our orders. Do me a favor, eh? At least pretend to look for evidence. You don't think he did it? I do think he did it. But I also think we should at least try to prove it, if that's okay with you. Anything you say. Orders are orders. Anything you say, sir. Daria says something, but apparently she doesn't talk to cops. Away from the crime scene. Got anything sir. there? Uh -huh. uh, it's not pretty, is it? We can't you let them get away. You have here. to tell us. Excuse me. I recognize you. We're neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed. Just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing would be done about this. Org victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You... You're not a cop, are you? Once, old habits die hard. In America? Yeah, Detroit. It was a long time ago. I bet you have a lot of experience. You're used to this sort of thing. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? Oh, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He... he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? You may not think much of the police here. I may not think much of them either. But that doesn't mean you should hold back information. They don't have it in them to protect me. They have neither the will nor the courage. Be that as it may, it's still probably your best hope for helping to catch the killer. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. Let's talk to you about what happened. How come he talks to him and not to me? So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. 
I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you, augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. I was a cop for 12 years. I know all about getting bad orders. The difference between what you're told to do and what you know is right. Tell me about it. So, how did you reconcile yourself with uh, those kinds of orders? I quit. <laughs> I'm two months away from the beach. I'm not quitting. But I respect your idealism. It was a long time ago. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <sighs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was going to work your case for you. Hey, sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look, my orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, Interpol. Who do they think they are? Found something. Moving away from the crime scene, sir. <sighs> Pretty obvious what happened Can't here. Can't believe we got this. I thought you were here. No, no. The only but way she I'm was. continuing this conversation is over a beer. I hear there's been a series of these. That was right, that shit is so tough. No. <laughs> two years too late already. <clears throat> Bring anything to drink? You bust into a man's home, you should at least bring a drink. Are you Johnny Gunn? That's right. What do you want? Have you heard about your wife? Which one? Excuse me? I've been married a bunch of times. Which wife are we talking about? I 
Angela's dead. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. They found her body in an alley. Yeah, well, you're not the one to tell me, so... I appreciate your way of trying to break it to me, though. Do you know if she died quick or not? No, I don't. I hope so. Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you, so here I am, sitting tight, being cooperative. Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah, so? Let's just say I'm familiar with bell tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? I've gone up against them before. I've seen a lot of them die. Yeah, well, guess that makes two of us. I was in New South Wales. I saw my share of debt. Australia? You were there during the Civil War? That's right. And that was only the beginning. Not my first choice, believe me, but, uh... Bell Tower wasn't all that big on choice. Send you where they want, make you do what they want, replace parts of you whenever and however they want. I didn't choose to be augmented either. Not when it first happened. Apparently we're supposed to be grateful. <laughs> Alloy is so much better than skin, right? At least, that's how they sold it to me. For some things it is. Not for everything. I can walk through fire, but sand won't stick between my toes. I can shove a knife through my hand, but I can't trust what I feel. Even my dreams are made of alloy. Both of your hands are made of alloy? Fingers are for human beings, Mr. Gunn. What you have is so much greater. <laughs> and then they told me what they want me to do, and what would happen to me if I didn't. Well, let me tell you something. That's not me anymore. It hasn't been for a very long time. They found a partial print on Angela's neck. It belongs to whoever strangled her. My hands were designed to kill in wars no one's ever heard of. I couldn't leave a trace on someone's skin even if I wanted to. They did it so you can kill better. So I'd never get caught. Ironic, right? Being a good killer is probably what saves me here. Or, you still think I killed Angela? I'm sorry for what Bell Tower did to you. They gave me tools they wanted me to have. That it was in their interest for me to have. But the decision to use them, that was all me. Now, if you don't mind, I'd very much like to be left alone. don't think she saw anything. All right, I have some questions about the murder. Before we go any further with this, I need you to know something about Johnny Gunn. He's... He's not a good man. I may not like how my bosses are targeting him, but that doesn't mean he's innocent. So, you know, just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Why else would I be here? I don't want this to turn into some kind of crusade. Bad men do bad things. In a perfect world, we arrest them for the right reasons, but, well, the world's not always perfect. People hold a hell of a grudge against hogs, ever since the incident. Yes, and? Well... Good thing the cops here are such professionals. Part of being a police officer is treating everyone the same, right? 
Og or no Og. It's not that simple and you know it. A police force isn't some abstract ideal of what justice and law should be. It's an instrument of those in power. A reflection of the society it protects. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of protection out there. Well, that depends who you ask. How long have you been a cop? Uh, too long. And of all the ways to go out, eh? Huh? What do you mean? I mean being assigned a case like this. It's HQ's little joke before sending me off to retirement. Oh, but don't worry about me, eh? I'm a survivor. I can make it through this. This case is a joke to you? I didn't say that. I said it's a joke to HQ. They know I haven't left my desk in years. But that doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Just... just a little rusty. You'll only arrest the victim's husband if the evidence tells you to, right? It's not enough that he's an AUG, and that your bosses want him to go down. I'll hold my guys off for as long as I can. But unless you can prove someone else killed Angela, or at the very least that Johnny didn't, I don't have much choice. That's why I'm trusting you to talk to him. Give me your honest opinion on what happened here. Yeah. Why are you trusting me exactly? Because you gave me the impression of being qualified. Because I'm big enough to admit that maybe I can use the help and... Between you and me? Because the thought of confronting a man like Johnny Gunn scares the shit out of me. I'm here because I don't like the idea of someone killing people right outside my window. Maybe he's out there right now, targeting that poor witness. Or maybe he's just looking for any chance to do it again. Fair enough, Mr. Interpol. Anything I should know about the scene? Anything jump out at you? The dismembered body jumps out at me. Keep in mind, I've been behind a desk for the last 12 years. It all jumps out at me. I found this press ID on the victim. Okay, enlighten me. We care about this... why? Angela Gunn was a journalist. Maybe this is work-related. Maybe she uncovered something she wasn't supposed to. Maybe. I don't know. I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. I found what looks like a grenade fragment. EMP by the looks of it. The killer might have used this to incapacitate her. Interesting. Johnny wouldn't need an EMP to take down his wife. Riot police use EMPs to re-establish public order around here. With all the AUG riots, anti-AUG riots, it wouldn't surprise me if that's all it was. Still, interesting. Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as odd? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. I'm assuming you know her augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing. Knew exactly what he wanted. Maybe Johnny wanted something to remember her by. Or maybe someone found a dead body and started cutting. There's a lot of scavengers around here. To them... Taking an arm is like taking a wallet. I found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. But at least we know the killer left something, and that she was strangled. Huh, a fingerprint. I must have missed that one. This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. 
If only we could link it to him. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. The killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Needle, huh? Hmm. In which shoulder? The right shoulder, why? It's probably nothing. I just remember this other cop, Smolinski. He had this theory about a copycat. Someone following in the footsteps of an old murderer named, um, Zvobotka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. Some of the things you've been noticing, I'll be honest, they're starting to sound very familiar. Someone like you would probably say it's worth looking into. And how would I do that? Smolinski died in that police station bombing. If any of his files survived, they would have been moved into temp storage, across the street from the bombed out station. Who knows? Maybe Smolinski found something that can shed light on this mess. Do you know if the victim had any enemies? I know she and Johnny didn't get along. Other than that, I really couldn't tell you. Were you able to get anything out of the witness? Sounded like she might have seen something. Who? Oh, little Miss Mousy? I was under the impression Daria was your domain. Apparently, I'm not good enough to talk to. Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. He's been arrested for all sorts of things in the past. Now don't get me wrong, I believe in evidence. But I also believe in playing the odds. Nine times out of ten, the husband did it. Why are your superiors so eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, you send a man like him into Golem City, and he's liable to go off the grid, end up with Ark or God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But, if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well, suddenly he's no trouble at all. I have what I need for now. I should go. That's fine by me. Enjoying yourself, detective. Let's talk about the case. I think I'm finally ready to shed some light on Angela Gunn's murder. That's good news. My bosses are eager to know why I haven't arrested Johnny yet. The truth is, we're not even close. Not yet. Why do you say that? What about Johnny? The more I think about all this, the more I can't shake the feeling. Johnny Gunn killed his wife. This isn't some domestic dispute gone horribly wrong. It's part of something bigger. Someone's out there pretending to be a dead serial killer. I see you looked into that old case I pointed you toward. The M.O. is a perfect match. I read the notes and I compared them to this murder. The two victims were killed by the same person, I'm sure of it. All right. Let's say that's true. That doesn't necessarily exclude Johnny. It just means he's killed more than one person. I'm just telling you what I found. No, you're interpreting what you found. Trying to, uh, sway my opinion. But if you really want to convince me of something, you need to keep talking. 
Remember that partial print I found on the victim's throat? What about it? Johnny Gunn hasn't had fingerprints since the Australian Civil War. His hands are made of alloy. If he had strangled her, he wouldn't have left a smudge. Alloy, huh? Shit. So, where does that leave us exactly? We followed the evidence we had. This is where it led us. You mean nowhere? I'm not sure exactly. I think a lot of the pieces are there. They're just not ready to be put together. Not yet. All right. That should be enough for me to get the rope off Johnny's neck. But it doesn't help me solve anything, does it? I mean, unless we learn more, there's no one I can drag in for this. Let's just hope learning more doesn't mean having to meet over another dead body. Hey, rookie! Get over here! Interpol. Time Who to wrap this up. Are? Daria, are you there? Is that you, neighbor? Are you checking up on me? It's very sweet. Are there any leads? I don't know who killed Angela Gunn, but I do know it wasn't an isolated case. Is that supposed to make me feel better? No, but it's the truth. Just try to be careful. Keep a low profile. If anything happens, if you ever think you're in danger, you know how to reach me. Thank you, but... Let's hope it doesn't come to that. You better have a good reason for digging around. Ark is being set up. Someone wants us looking the other way, chasing the obvious target while they prepare their next attack. What? What are you talking about? Come on, Miller, it's too neat. You know as well as I do that Ark didn't hit us in Dubai. Is that so? Who's this someone then, huh? More blank pages? More ghosts? Like the ones you say took out Rucker? I don't know who they are, not yet. But I know where they are. I've traced them to an old bell tower facility in the Swiss Alps. Bell tower? They're just a bad memory. All their assets were sold off more than a year ago. And I'm sure if we look closely at some of the buyers, we'd be staring at a tangle of untraceable shell companies. You're throwing a lot of assumptions around here. What we need is evidence, Jensen. I told you. Did you even meet with Fletcher? Did you look into the evidence you found at the train station like you said you would? It was a dead end, just like Rucker. Look, the people orchestrating these attacks don't make mistakes. Whatever evidence there is to find, it's there because they want us to find it, to keep us off their trail. You need to start trusting me here. By allowing you to pursue your own agenda? I don't think so, Agent. This bell tower facility, how the hell did you find it? I reached out to someone, a contact from my Seraph days. He's very good at unearthing the kinds of information people try to keep hidden. I told him what happened in Dubai, gave him access to the information I learned while investigating Ark. He did the rest. Fuck, Jensen. Do you trust this guy? In this instance, yes. Now is a bad time to be going off book. Word of Rucker's death is spreading, and riots are breaking out all over Gollum. If state police can't contain them, 
We're gonna have a major problem on our hands. I can't afford to send the strike team in on a wild goose chase right now. I'm not asking you to send the team. Send me. Me and Chicane. Come again. We do a flyby. Check it out from the air. If it's clear, I slip in, take a look around, and we find out if my theory is correct. And if you're mistaken? Then we focus back on Ark. And I'll never disobey another order again. Right. Chicane, you got enough fuel to reach the Alps? We'll get there, if that's where we're going. Do it. But I stay in the loop. No more rogue agent shit. Copy? Solid copy. All right. Good luck. You'll never disobey another order again. Shit, I can already see your nose growing. I'm not wrong about this. I know that facility has answers. What, are you doubting me too? I think Miller smells a bit of bullshit on it, but it's good enough to get me moving. You ready to light out? Yeah, fire it up. Avoid taking those wrong turns. A little taste. So at the end you understand what you're interfering with. Give my regards to Talos. I thought there'd be more blood. You said Rocker was covered in it. Rocker had more meat in him than this one. Maybe that's the difference. But you're sure he'll die. The Orchid has no mercy. His end will come. It will be slow. And it will be painful. Just time enough for a man to think on his sins. Yeah! It means the facility is compromised. We should move out. No. We were warned that this one was coming. We have time before they start searching for him. If you are certain, what about your friends from Ark? Those fools have outlived their instruments. Let them drink a little more. Then dose them with more. Don't go bodies with this one. Dead weight. You carry him now. This is as far as I go. You're flying back to Park. I need to meet with those Tafali peaks. Get them to accelerate the timeline so our shipment clears Costins immediately. They will want more money. Smugglers always want more money. But the Valley won't get it. So the men and I should stay here and proceed as planned? Brown confirmed everything at Baikos last night. Date and time. End of the line for you, friends. Shane. 
Mr. Kane, come in. How long have I been out? Alex, it's me. I need help. Sure, what is it? I walked into an ambush in the Swiss Alps, and I can't race TF-29's pilot. You're in Garm? Fuck, it's gonna take time to scrounge up a veto. What happened? They were waiting for me when I got here. Marchenko and the gold mask mercs from Dubai. Jesus, you gotta get out of there. Look, stay low, find an exit and... Well, I'll get back to you when I've got a plan. And I'll keep trying to raise my pilot. These guys think I'm dead, Alex. Maybe I can take advantage of that. Have a peek around. Chicane, come in. God damn it, Chicane, where are you? Jensen, you're alive. Shit. I've been trying to get a hold of you for hours. Getting nothing but dead air. Listen, I found a place to set down. I'm coming in after you. Don't bother, I'm coming to you. Alex, I don't need that ride. I found my pilot. That's a relief. Let me know when you're back in Prague. Copy that. Ready to get the hell out of here. Isn't it? What the hell happened? Where's everyone? Martial law. Riots in Gollum spilled over into Prague. The entire city's on lockdown. No one but state police allowed in the streets tonight. They've all got itchy trigger fingers. Wonderful. Dr. Miller? Come to meet me at the office? He'll be waiting for you. Of course, you'll likely be shot getting there. Watch yourself out there, Jensen. Alex, it's me. We need to meet. You got a location? Because the streets aren't safe tonight, man. Can you make it to the limb clinic, where we met before? Yeah, it's not far. I'll meet you there. I'm glad you're okay, Adam. Bought you a present from the Alps. Compliments of Victor Marchenko. Be careful with it. Is this... the Orchid? Yeah. Marchenko tried to kill me with it. Just like he did Rucker. Think you can get it analyzed? Yeah, we got a couple of scientists on the Collective's mailing list. Some of them are already culling through the files you and Janus pulled from the bank. I'll let you know what they find. Oh, and we also ran a trace on that email you gave me, from Rucker. It originated from an unregistered pocket secretary in Hong Kong. So we don't know who sent it? Not yet. It's been shut off ever since. But we left a trace running, so if it lights up again, we'll know. Good. Something big is coming, Alex. Ark's being framed for a terrorist attack that hasn't occurred yet. They're gonna take more lives, blow up another train station? Jesus, Adam, look at it out there! Any chance we had of easing fears and fighting people's hatred will be gone. That piece of shit UN legislation will pass and we'll all be thrown into AUG-only hellholes like Udalek. On Nathaniel Brown sits back and earns trillions. Brown? 
That slick suit from the Santo Corporation? Page said Brown was calling the shots. And in Switzerland, Marchenko said Brown had confirmed date and time. But where? Brown's been traveling extensively, promoting Rabia and his Safe Harbor initiative. His next junket's in London. But if he's behind this, he's not gonna attack himself. Maybe not. Marchenko also mentioned someone who can tell us. But I have to meet with Miller first. It's possible. If you're meeting with Miller, be careful. You walked into another ambush in Garm, and Miller's not off my suspect list yet. We'll see. Paul, welcome to the underground. I owe you an apology for hacking your info link. Don't sweat it. I'm assuming you had a good reason. Sammy's dad's usual channels are all bugged. I couldn't risk an audio communication being traced back here. You're a little K, right? You don't sound local. I wrote some things that made me have to delocalize a long time ago. Been living story to story on a Schengen visa and a language implant ever since. Never expect a short story from a long-form journalist. You want to know why I brought you here? The police raided Samistat last night, cleared us out. We were broadcasting until they pulled the plug. Radios, flyers, mail bursts, the, the makeshift media van. Getting the message out to our subscribers if they needed a refuge. As you can see, it went a little wider than we anticipated. I'm pretty sure you didn't call me to put up posters. What's the deal? We've made a plan. We're getting people out of the city, starting first thing tomorrow. I want Yarek and Bones to go with them, but first, we need to bust them out of jail. Tonight. And you think I'm the kind of guy who breaks into police stations? Are you telling me you're not? Fine, I'll get them out. They're being held in the temporary police station downtown? Yes. By the Monument Metro. Once you're clear, take them across the plaza to the United Cleaners. We've cached everything they need for a long road trip along the old NATO decommissioning zone. That's your escape route? Puts getting them past the state police into perspective. It works on paper. Ah, uh, and uh, gives them these new identity documents, a lot of new identities. We found a very good forger. We're keeping her from a bright future in a Pika's newsroom. I recognize you. Can we Who get back into the city trust people tonight? I rank a bower. Thought we activated your permit. You did. Whatever you did, it was enough to fool them. You kept us out of Golem. We will never forget that. But now you're hiding again. Martial law has changed everything. They say it is to keep us off the streets, but it is worse than that. They go into our homes, accuse us of being people we are not. Permits do not matter anymore. How did you know to come here? Elena heard a message on the radio. It was warning people saying the city is not safe anymore. She saw the police go into someone's home. The man. He was showing them his permit, but the officer, he did not even look at it. He just... Helena could see that the warnings were true. That people like Irenka must have run away. So we start to go underground. We start to find others. When society wants to make things hard for someone, it eventually finds a way. I'm sorry it came to this, Irenka. Don't be. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have made it this far. We wouldn't have met all these people. Everyone is working together. Together we will find a way out of here. I hope so. Chris wants to be free! To this... You! I knew it, man! I knew you were one of them all along! Do I look like I'm one of them? I can feel my hands right now, but if I could run a search for shadowy extra-government agent on the net, pretty sure it's all you. 
Fair point. What happened? You pulled a freedom of information speech on the state police? Ha fucking ha. They didn't wait for a speech, man. Lesson learned. Smash the state before the state smashes your nose. Little K asked me to get you out. She's the K now, man. I'm a liability to Sam's dad. She cares about you, Yarrick. She didn't want to leave you or Bones behind. Always was a cool cat, man. One of the good ones. She wrote the wheel come off 16 years ago, and the conspiracies just keep checking out. Everything except the gray ape. If she wrote the book... Ah, uh, 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 I don't believe in authorial intent. You told me you were a liability to Sam's dad. How do you figure that? Because the cops burn me, man. Exposure is... There's a way out of pro... There's a police locker in the corner that should be stocked with uniforms. Find something that fits and try to look convincing. We need the cops to think you're one of them. Good. It's time to go. Yes! Exit plans, man! Exit plans! Always be making them! We worked this contingency plan out when we started Sammy's death. Didn't think it would actually come to this, though. No one thought it would be like this. You're gonna need these documents where you're going, wherever that is. I hear Paris is the best place to have a revolutionary agenda these days. If you want to come along, you can be the muscle. Well, whatever your arms are made of, the stuff they use on space shuttles. No can do. I've got a previous engagement. I really can't miss. Right. With the cardboard box company. Watch yourself out there, Kay. Kay is everyone. You're part of it now. Adam, it's David. We need to talk. In private. Nothing's more private than my info link. I'm not so sure. I've sent a secure vid call number to your smart home system. Get to your apartment and call me. What are you doing here? Is that going to become our standard conversation starter? I'm serious, Delara. It's dangerous outside. Non-essential staff should be home. How did you even get- Ouch. Non-essential. I just meant- Work with me, Adam. I was trying for a little levity. Truth is, watching Pika's news, hearing that the mobs were getting closer to the city, I was reminded of- Let's just say I thought being three stories below ground was better than staying in my apartment. So, I called in a favor and got state police to escort me in. Listen, I can tell something big is happening, so I don't want to keep you. You doing okay, Delara? Look, Adam, I didn't tell you why I left Lim International. That I was in session with a patient when the incident hit, and that I was... You were attacked. Her name was Madeline. She was 13. A really sweet kid. One minute we were talking, laughing actually, about something silly I'd said, and the next she was... She... It was a terrible day for everyone. After I fought her off, she... She just stared at me like she was totally aware, you know? But not in control. God, Adam, I could see in her eyes that some part of her was still in there, locked away. And she was terrified. Delara, I'm sure the girl... Madeline. Her name was Madeline. You know the part that I'll never forget, though? The thing that keeps... just replaying in my mind over and over? Right before she jumped out of my office window, I could swear she was crying. I didn't know. I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to sound insensitive. But you made it through that, Delara. And I think you're stronger for it. Thanks, Adam. Guess I just... You just think you're over something, you know? And then... I understand. But regardless of the reason, you took a risk coming back here. These are dangerous times for everyone. You don't need to worry about me, Adam. I'll be fine. I'll just hunker down in my office until the storm passes. Besides, I hear I have a very comfortable couch. Just take care of yourself. I always do. We're trying to stop terrorists here. I understand that. But I have agents scattered around this city. You made it. Hell of a time for a lockdown. More like convenient, given everything that's happened in this investigation so far. What does that mean? They knew I was coming. Marchenko and the gold mask from Dubai. Somebody tipped them off. Are you accusing me? You waffled a long time before agreeing to let me go. Because you pulled the location out of your ass, you refused to tell me how you got it. Your one solid lead to the bomb maker got away, and Rucker ended up dead when I sent you to arrest him. You've been nothing but an insubordinate cock-up since Manderley put you into this unit. Manderley? It was his signature on the transfer papers. I checked. <sighs> I can't believe we're arguing over this. Not when we need to focus. Chicane debriefed me while you were flying back. Leon sent in a strike team. Got there about an hour after you two slipped out. And the mercs were gone. Did a pretty good job of trashing the place before bugging out, and left a few booby traps behind. So we have no idea where they went, or what they're planning next. Not necessarily. I heard Marchenko talking to his men. He said something about finalizing a deal with the Diwali. We need to move on this now. I'll get a search warrant for that old Diwali-owned theater on Tsar Dibi Adlam Street. You really think we have time for a search warrant? No, but with the city under lockdown, I can't guarantee you'll make it over to the Red Light District alive. I got here, didn't I? Nobody's killed me yet. All right, fine. I won't stop you. Just be careful out there, Jensen. Let me know what you find. Call me that. Hey, Adam. They're trying to lock it down, but I was able to bypass most of the state police. Good for you. The last thing we need is more bloodshed. There's been enough already. If I had your stealth training, I might head home, but I think I'm safer in here. Plus, my test results are in and they're putting me back in the field, finally. I don't want to run in with state police messing that up. Whose unit are you assigned to for your next mission? The Creedies. Really? I thought... He actually recommended me. Told me I shoot better than anyone on his team. That's great. Talk to you later, Arya. Bye, Adam. See you out there. Can you hear me? You have to come quick. He's here. Who's here? Who is this? It's Daria. From the crime scene. Do you remember? I'm at home. Part me to cross from yours. Please, hurry. I need you one thing. Are you still there? Daria. My Interpol friend. It's dangerous for you to be out in the street tonight. What are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Oh, the killer is still out there. More victims have turned up. All of them Augs, all harvested. Just like Angela Gunn. So it's the same person doing all this. And we still have no idea who that is. I'm not sure where all this is going, but... I've been looking at old case notes, and it's uncanny. Harvester is supposed to be dead, 
Yet this killer seems to... Little habits that were never made public. I even called the cemetery just to make sure Svobodka's still dead. And? He's dead. That doesn't explain what you're doing here. It's still my case, isn't it? And it's still open. I was hoping that maybe Daria suddenly remembered something. And what about you? You know very well that your Interpol ID doesn't mean shit tonight. Hell, I should be arresting you right now. Daria called me. She said she was in trouble. She said he was here. Then she got cut off. Is she in there? I wouldn't know. I knocked and no one answered. I've been... worried about her. So... she called you, huh? You know how she feels about cops. Right. Look, you're not supposed to be outside tonight. I'll take a look around the building. You? See if you can find a way inside. Hopefully we're not too late. Just try not to get caught, eh? I won't. What are you doing here? It's after curfew. It's dangerous. Serial killers are dangerous. Curfews are just... inconvenient. I... beg your pardon? Daria Mishka. Ring a bell. I... Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I I'm not at liberty to divulge anyone's personal information. I'm asking for your help. Daria's missing. She's gotten herself mixed up in these harvester killings. I'm sorry to hear that. But I don't see what that has to do with me. Or with you, for that matter. Before going after her, I want to make sure I have all the information I need. I read the email you sent her. You seemed very concerned. Something about a neurosurgery you performed. Why was it so important for her to meet you here? I used to know Daria. She was a patient of mine. Your patient? You mean here at the drugstore? No, of course not. Before that, when I used to work for Tai Young Medical, big tech corporation. You know it? Enough to know I don't like where this is going. I headed a project. The cutting edge of neural science and cellular memory replacement. We dealt with people suffering from severe social disorders. We were making people better by making them better people.
How exactly did you make people better? We found a way to isolate specific character traits. The idea was to use neural implants with imprints of desirable traits from select individuals and insert them into others who were, how should I say, less gifted. Take a man like yourself, for example. I'm funny enough as it is. Now how about you tell me what went wrong? Something obviously did. We were trying to help people. Imagine what it would mean if we succeeded. Anxiety, gone. Apathy, gone. Depression, gone. Diversity gone, spontaneity gone, individuality gone. But you probably left that part out of your sales pitch. I... Daria is responsible for what Daria does. The only reason Tai Young forced me to get involved is because so much is at stake for them. Big brand name to protect. I've met their lawyers, men whose briefcases are filled with broken teeth. You must understand. I'm trying to save Daria. If any part of you cares about what happens to her, now is the time to tell me. What do I need to know to help her? Daria is beyond help. You're wasting your time. That's for me to decide. Now tell me about this procedure. And you can quit stalling because I'm not going anywhere until I get the answers I need. My job was to address people's deficiencies by integrating donor personality packages. That meant we needed lots of confident volunteers to donate time to our project. As you can imagine, people weren't exactly lining up to have a scrape inside their heads. So Tai Young had to diversify. Once again, not sure I like where this is going. Tai Young Medical cut a deal with various penitentiaries. Prisoners who took part in our programs, they got granted little perks, bigger cells, running water. The prisons, they benefited from facility upgrades. It was a win-win. You implanted the personality traits of prisoners into the mentally unstable? Smart. Let me take a wild guess. Daria's donor was Marek Svobodka, better known as the Harvester. Donor number 698843. All I saw, all I was given, was a series of test scores that showed a perfect match. Everything she was missing, he had. Nothing else mattered at the time. An innocent woman's been turned into a vicious killer, in large part because of a procedure you carried out. I'd say that matters. Daria wasn't turned into anything. She willingly participated in a procedure. Now she is willingly killing people. You may choose to see a causal relationship between those two things, but let me assure you, it's more complicated. Save it for the lawyers. What I need to know is how to stop her. All right, look. We obviously want the same thing here. Daria has a neural chip installed just above the hairline. She won't let you get anywhere near it. So if you're serious about putting an end to this, you'll have to... you know... What, kill her? That would be my preference, yes. Or I suppose you could just incapacitate her, but then you run the risk of having her wake up. Not a risk I would take personally. There must be another way. Something that doesn't involve attacking her. I... I, I wish I could help you. Unless you're willing to meet violence with violence, Daria's not a victim. Chip or no chip, she is behind this, and she will try to attack you, no matter what you do. I don't think Daria's as responsible as you make her out to be. Taking her out and removing the chip is great for you. Gets rid of any evidence that might link her actions to your bungled experiment. But there's no way it's my only option. And there's no way Tai Young Medical would develop a sensitive technology like this without some kind of failsafe. 
I know you're holding something back. Like what? A weakness. An override. Something that allows me to talk to her without the influence of whatever it is you install. Well... There is an override phrase. Daria has been programmed to react to it with specific subconscious impulses that are designed to trigger a shutdown of the chip. Why wouldn't you tell me that in the first place? Because I knew you would overestimate what it could do. You're a fool if you think you can just walk up to a killer and say a magic word. It won't undo what she's become. The decision to act on Svobodka's memories, to repeat them, that was all Daria. Simply shutting down the chip at this point will not be sufficient. That's for me to decide. What's the override phrase? Ad hominem 2026. But I warn you, do not turn your back on her. And do not underestimate her responsibility in all of this. We all have terrible nightmares. We all have visions of sick and terrible things we could do. But we don't all act on them. You must be careful around her. Oh, thank God. I knew you'd find me. We must hurry, before he comes back. Before who comes back? The man who killed Angela Gunn? Yes. He knows you're after him. He wanted you to come. So where is he? He's everywhere. Can you not feel his presence? Are you not scared? Why did he bring you here? What does he want? He's using me to get to you. He thinks that by removing your augmentations, he can make you whole again. Quickly, come closer. Help me to get out, and then deal with him. Please, I beg you. You can drop the act, Daria. I know what's going on here. I know there's no one else out there. I ran into an old friend of yours. The name Cipra mean anything to you? You mean... Dr. Cipra? Where did you dig him up? He's worried about you. He's worried about himself. He's worried about Taeyong Medical. They're willing to kill to cover things up, to preserve their precious image. Their reasons are savage compared to mine. I don't believe this is who you are. Something changed in you after Cypress surgery. Made you do things you would never have done otherwise. For reasons that aren't your own. But it's not too late. Don't be so naive. I am who I've always been. Cypress surgery, all it did was give me access to another man's technique. His courage to follow through. I can still help you. Ad hominem 2026.
Is... is... <laughs> what did you do? Is... is that how machines pray? Listen to me. The neural chip that Dr. Sipper installed in you is in the process of shutting down. Try to focus. This version of you that's been hurting people. I don't believe that was really you. Then... Then you don't know me very well. Why? Why should this change anything? The procedure gave me access to memory banks that weren't my own. The choice to draw on those memories was mine alone. You... You... You can't take them from me. The shutdown process may take some time. There may be lingering effects. But that doesn't mean it's too late to help you. <laughs> you really believe that, don't you? All right. Prove it. Approach me. Come closer. Save me from all those horrible things Dr. Sipra did. There's nothing to be scared of, right? Surely whatever trace of the harvester was inside me is gone now that you've said the magic word. You obviously need more help than I can offer. But that doesn't mean it's not out there. Whatever power the neural chip had over you should be diminishing now. You should be able to fight whatever urges Svoboda's memories inspired in you. I... I don't need help. You do. You need to be... Sa sa saved. All Ogs need to be saved. Svoboda inspired me to... to... I can make you human again. I have to make you human again to atone for what I am. This notion you got that augmented people need saving, that there's something less than human. Look, I didn't know her, but I guarantee you Angela Gunn was a human being. Her humanity was defined by her ideas, her passions, the causes she believed in. It had nothing to do with whether or not she was augmented. So Botka never saw them as individuals. To him, they were victims of an age that terrified him. Mirror images of the monster he had become. He believed the entire race was under attack, that mechanization would keep our souls from migrating. How does that sound like to you when you say it? Migration of the soul? Victims of an age? I'm not talking abstract concepts here. I'm talking about people. Svobodka never saw his victims as human beings because it would have made it impossible to do what he did. He was sick. He was scared. Whatever he was, he was no savior. You're right. The more he killed, the easier it became. That is why he had to repeat the actions, ritualize them. It was a way of justifying his beliefs. If you kill one man, their memory is like an anvil. If you kill seven, you quickly forget the first. It all starts to seem inevitable. Surely it must be obvious to you by now. The Daria you came here to save no longer exists. She hasn't for a long time. All that remains now is his drive, his legacy, his cause. Fabotka didn't have a cause. He was a serial killer, acting out on impulses that he tried to couch in spiritual rhetoric. A way of convincing himself that his actions were justified, but they weren't. No amount of faith or abstraction makes it okay to dehumanize people the way he did. No. 
No, it doesn't. But so what if you're right? So what that Svobodka's motivations cannot stand up to scrutiny? His actions, my actions, cannot be justified. Where does that leave me? If those others did not deserve to die, then I deserve to die. It's not for me to judge you. I want smarter people than me to look into this neural procedure you underwent. Dig into Cipra and Tai Young. So you're offering me a fair trial? I'm not offering anything. But if there's any hope of moving on here, not killing anyone else is a good start. Society has every right to judge you, and it also has a right to hear all about Cipra and Tai Young Medical. I'm not an expert on extenuating circumstances, but I'd say you have an interesting case. You were right before, about the override process taking time. I can feel him receding. Memories of, of memories no longer crashing against me like they did. Let me prove it to you. Come closer. I want at least one person to know that I'm no longer what I was. Alright, Daria. We need to get you out of here for real now. This needs to end. The version of me who did those things to Angela, I... I cannot even imagine it being me, even though I, I know it was. Whatever happens now, whatever the authorities decide, I hope you believe me. What's going on here? What the hell am I interrupting? Detective Montag. Daria's got a story to tell you. How you react may have something to do with your thoughts on experimental neural therapies and big medical conglomerates. I don't understand. Where is the harvester? I, I want to turn myself in. One of you really needs to start explaining. I want to confess to the killings of Angela Gunn, Misha Voracek, Pavel Klima, and Leonie Wolf. I also need to tell you about the neural procedure I underwent. It involves Tai Young Medical and a man named Dr. Nicholas Sipra. I hope you'll listen. You can handle this from here. Just listen carefully to what she has to say. All right, Daria. I think you should start at the beginning. Two years ago, I signed up for a program sponsored by Tai Young Medical. They said they could help people to become better versions of themselves. It all feels so long ago now. Another lifetime. I suggest you remember everything you possibly can about this procedure you underwent. Who was involved, when it happened. I'm, I'm not that person anymore, I swear to you. Take your time. For now, nothing's going to happen until I get the full story. I know that now. Adam, good. We need to talk, son. What's going on, Seraph? Why the secure vid call number? I looked into Facility 451. It was a processing clinic, one of dozens set up after the incident to help augmented people recover. It was supposed to be places to heal, but they were run more like prison camps. And? And I don't think you got your new augs there. You said rescue teams dumped you in that clinic shortly after Panchea collapsed, but your name doesn't appear on its entry logs. And it doesn't appear on any survivor recovery lists, either. They said I was a John Doe. Nobody knew who I was. It wouldn't have been hard to find out. Your augmentations have serial numbers. Or at least the ones I had installed into Adam Jensen did. Are you suggesting all my augs are new? Even the ones you gave me? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm telling you all the augs we ever installed had registry codes, and they're not hard to trace. I know my augs, Seraph. It took two years for my body to get used to them, to unlock all their potential. Two years? Really, Adam? One of which you don't remember because you were allegedly in a coma in Alaska. Look, son. 
All I'm saying is it wouldn't have been hard to identify you, but for some reason, that never happened. Why are you so sure I didn't get these hogs in Alaska? Orloff was there. I spoke with him. You said he was using an alias, McFadden. I looked into it. Casper McFadden didn't exist until the day you regained consciousness, which was one month before you escaped the facility. Okay, so where was Orloff? Not in Alaska. He was with Tai Young Medical for a while, and in the spring of 2028, his name pops up once or twice in the Baltic region. Then he dropped off the grid, and McFadden shows up. So what does that prove? Orlov is McFadden, and McFadden is Orlov. None of it connects him to me. Except for the Augs which Orlov designed and nobody else knows how to install, let alone make compatible with a competing system. What are you trying to tell me, Seraph? I'm sorry, Adam. There's not much more I can say. There's some conclusions you have to make for yourself. All I know is, the deeper I dig, the more questions I have. Orlov might have had answers, but as soon as you found out he was in Prague, that he'd been visiting Prague periodically ever since you started working with TF-29's division there, somebody killed him. You tell me what it all means. I can't. Not yet. Well, if you ever do find out, give me a call. Until then, take care of yourself, Adam. Be careful. Thanks for the help, Seraph. Jensen, you still alive out there? Yeah, just made it to the red light district. Any luck with that search warrant? State police aren't even taking my calls. I'm afraid you're on your own this time. Story of my life. But I got it, don't worry. Miller, the Diwali owned most of the apartments surrounding the old theater, isn't that right? Yeah. And they're very possessive of them. So if you're thinking of getting in that way, I... It's gone a little further than just thinking. Then expect it to zip straight past peaceful negotiation the minute they see you. Jensen, you said Marchenko needed to finalize a deal, right? With the Diwali, yeah. Not a lot to go on, I know. Mm, maybe not. But these guys are the best smugglers in the world, which means a lot of forged paperwork. You might find something in the Kingpin's office. Assuming I can find that. They will pay triple what they agree. That is good for business. But at what cost? This is not a fucking discussion! We can still limit the damage. We do not know what these people have planned for London. It could be... I decide how the Dvali do business, not you. But this orchid, you want to deliver to the Safe Harbor Convention before it even begins. Do you have shit in your ears as well as between them? Get the fuck out of my office! Now! Miller, Archenko is targeting the Safe Harbor Convention in London. Jesus, there'll be hundreds of people there. How fast can we move on this? I'll warn London and get Mac working on a mobilization plan for them. You go home. We'll contact you there. Alex, they are hitting London. But Valley agreed to smuggle weapons and the Orchid into Apex Center. Fuck, man. They want to take out Brown. He's their real target. I've been digging into him. Get to my apartment. Explain it to me there. Got it wrong, Adam. Brown's financial prospects aren't as rosy as we thought. He stands to lose trillions if the Human Restoration Act passes. That doesn't make any sense. Millions of displaced dogs will flock to Rabia. And the city can't support them. Brown's been selling investors a pumped-up dream. 
a corporate city-state where like-minded individuals govern themselves while investors reap the profits. Kinda goes against the idea of a one-world government. Yeah, and if it fails, so does Brown, the Santo Group, and anyone else standing in the Illuminati's way. So they want to kill a competing dream and get rid of their augmented problem in one fell swoop. I take it Brown's been campaigning against the act? And unlike Rucker, he's got the money and influence to stop it. What about the orchid sample I gave you? Marchenko's smuggling more of it into London. Were you able to analyze it? Believe it or not, it's not a bioweapon. Or at least it's not meant to be one. It's a genome editing drug. It targets the gene linked to AUG rejection and deletes it. AUG rejection? Must be why I survived. I don't suffer from rejection syndrome. What? Are you telling me you don't need neuropazine? Shit, man, that makes you... One in a billion, I know. The Orchid, Alex. You said it's not meant to be a bioweapon. Right. The files you and Janus got from the vault, they suggest Reed's team hasn't finished making the Orchid yet. It's supposed to replace the deleted gene with an artificial one, one that accepts augmentations. But until they do, it's deadly. Darknet posted pictures of Rucker's corpse. If Brown and all his elegant, fancy potential investors get dosed, and Picus News broadcasts images of them, it's gonna send a message. I'd better warn Miller. You can stay here if you want, till the curfew is lifted. I can take care of myself. But when the task force hits London, keep me in the loop. Not sure what I can do, but... Good luck, Adam. And be safe. Miller, it's Jensen. Is McCready still working on that plan for London? Because there's another variable to consider. You can brief him yourself at TF-29's airfield. We're mobilizing. Copy that. How do I get there? Damn, curfew's still in effect. So if you can get to Chicane's place, he'll fly you to it. Miller out. Miller's not here yet? He's already left for the main hangars with McCready's team. We're supposed to rendezvous with them there. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Incredible threat. I understand that. There are hundreds of lives at risk. I hope you're wrong about this, Jensen. So do I. Fine. Fine. Have your men pull back until I can talk to him myself. Miller out. Changing plans. Mac, you and your team will rendezvous with our London division. Secure the perimeter until I tell you to come back in. Jensen, you and I are on the roof. Is there a problem? Happy top, gentlemen. Approaching the target building now. Get your coat. You're gonna need it. I don't have to tell you what's happening. You know the drill. There are people down there. Radical, augmented people who've been sidelined by this world and who think the only way to stop the oppression is by tearing down everything in their way. Their grievances may be just. Maybe they should be heard, but never on these terms. The world may be going to shit, but we're here to stand against the chaos. Every one of the guests down there are counting on us to keep them safe. Let's make sure we do. Director Miller, I'm Nathaniel Brown. 
thank you for agreeing to handle this discreetly. We didn't exactly have a choice. You threatened to invoke the Corporate Sovereignty Act. I gave your London division a full day to sweep for explosives. They found nothing. It's not just bombs we're concerned with. I've also replaced all the food and beverage, brought in extra guards from Tarvis Security Services, and ordered the men to work with your team when it arrives. Trust me, I'm taking this threat very seriously. Then why not cancel the event? This isn't the first time extremists have threatened to tear down the Safe Harbor Initiative. Pro-Og supporters think we're profiting from their misery, promoting more failures like Gollum City. Well, anti-Og racists can't stand the thought of any augmented person living in peace. Canceling this event will only embolden all of them. The men planning to attack here tonight are no ordinary extremists. They murdered Talos Rucker. And they want to frame the Augmented Rights Coalition if their attack tonight succeeds. Is this true? How do you know it? How does it matter? We're here because of a credible threat against you and your Safe Harbor Convention. These men are out to stop you. They know you've been campaigning against the Human Restoration Act. They need it to pass. They don't care how many lives they destroy as long as that happens. But we do. It's Agent Jensen, isn't it? David Seraph told me about you. You might not believe this, Agent, but I'm also trying to save lives tonight. The lives of your people. The several members of the UN Security Council are on my guest list tonight. Plan to convince them just how wrong the act really is. Tell us Rucker couldn't stop it from passing. But I can. Where are you meeting then? In a secure conference room off the reception hall. The men from your London division have already cleared it. Doesn't matter. I want to see this room myself. I don't want Agent Jensen here to coordinate with Tarvos security, while the rest of my team re-examines the building. Discreetly, of course. The head of our Tarvis division is Liam Slater. He's waiting for your man to join him in the central security office. Go see him, Agent. And keep McCready and me in the loop. Mr. Brown, if you'll show me that conference room. Alex, I'm at the Apex Center. Brown's got members of the Security Council here tonight. Members sympathetic to Og rights. You understand they must be protected at all costs. James? Were you eavesdropping on me? Uh, forgive me, but the situation did seem to merit it. Right. Well, if I need your advice tonight, I'll ask. The Illuminati already tried once to control human evolution. Having failed, it appears that some of them now are pushing for complete eradication of your kind. We need to stop them. Brown and the people he's meeting with tonight may be the only ones who can. Adam, Janus is right. We'll see. Move away. Access to this part of the building is restricted. Security personnel only. Chief Slater is expecting me. Chief... Oh, right. He's, um, unavailable at the moment. Urgent matter. The urgent matter is why I'm here. I'm sorry. Who did you say you were with? You know what? It's fine. I don't want to disturb the man if he's into something. I'll come back. Sure. I'll tell the boss you are here. Miller. McCready. Tarvos isn't letting me in. The guard I spoke to, uh, something's not right here. McCready, anyone from Tarvos security contact you yet? Negative. 
Which is odd, actually. Shit. If the building's already compromised, where? Forget it. We stay on task. Jensen, get inside Slater's office and find out what's going on. Copy that. Max, send a team up for support right away. Already on the way. All systems possible. Confirmed. Updated as you were. Miller, McCready, I've got Tarvos bodies up here. We are definitely compromised. Fuck. All right, men. Listen up. We expected something like this. Mac, how close are you to the CSO? Entering the stab... Oh, shit. Fucking doors are on security lockdown. I can't go anywhere but back. Jensen, there should be a security override switch inside Slater's office. Get in there, get the doors unlocked, and get Mac and his team moving again. Copy that. Clear patrol, confirmed. Check updated. Move to next checkpoint. Confirm. My friends, there's been darkness in the world of late. But where there is darkness, there is also opportunity. And we must seize it. We are the ones who can bring light back into the world. If we must, we will take up that torch and we will make Make sure that all the augmented have a chance to live with dignity. I'd like to propose a toast. Miller, McCready. CCTV shows another compromised area. Back of the house. Looks like catering. I've got eyes on that area as well. It looks like our bogus Tavos units are using a guarded security door to access the reception hall. Oh, fuck. They're everywhere, circulating among the guests. What are they playing at? Why aren't they fucking shooting yet? Jensen, any sign of Marchenko or the Orchid? Negative. Neither. Miller, can you get to Brown? I'm moving to him now. But Jensen, we need to know if the Orchid is in play. Get down here, circulate and find a key to that door. One of the guards must have it on him. Copy that. It'd be easier if I knew how many guards I'm dealing with. I'll upload their patrol routes to your retinal log. But we don't want all hell breaking loose down here. So take them down quietly. Mac, you rally with Jensen ASAP. I'll pick up Brown and get him safe. Good luck, men. All right, guys. I'm inside the reception hall. Got eyes on some of the guards, but there's no telling which one has the key card. Well, you'll find it soon enough, mate, because you need to take them all out. Can't have anyone in the weeds, yeah? And do it quietly. I'm close to your position now. I'll see you soon. Access granted. One moment, sir. The mezzanine is not accessible to reception guests. I was hoping to get a new perspective on this party. That would be impossible. Enjoy the reception. Thank you. Keep moving. We have patrol. Confirmed. You haven't seen any sign that someone is on to us? I took down another guard. Still got nothing. I'll keep looking. Copy that. Low in area. Oh. 
on the cover for almost three months. I guess he found the guy. Then we just had to wait for the right moment when they were all in one place. The pre-reception security debrief. They were all in the CSO. Exactly. I've got the key card. Should be in the catering area soon. You guys copy? <coughs> Miller! Jensen! You there! Fucking stairwells were rigged with tripwires! <coughs> Are you okay? Is it the bombs? <coughs> no, negative, just some low yield shit. I'm fine. Look, uh, I gotta work around this debris. It's gonna take me a while longer to reach you. No worries, I got this one. Just be safe. And Jensen, listen, we're lucky I didn't fuck it all with the racket I made, so you need to make sure the reception hall is cleared before you press on. Yeah? Mac out. All right, Mac. I took care of all enemy units in the reception hall. The place is clear. Copy that. Moving into the catering area now. All right, Miller, McCready. I'm inside catering. Jensen, I think my comms might still be fucked after that stairwell explosion. Are you getting anything from Miller? Negative. Miller, you hearing us? Jesus Christ, this whole fucking building's gone daffy. Wouldn't be surprised if it's in the air. Well, look. I can read you fine, so just keep me posted. Hey, Gizni. is in play. We need to... Ah! You should be dead, Adam Jensen. Instead, you show up here with your comrades in tow, forcing me to adapt to the situation. To poisoning Brown and the delegates, that's your plan B? 
Sorry, brother, it's not gonna work. You only see a piece of the picture. Maybe you can save those rich bastards. Maybe, in some grand hypothetical future, doing so will erase the damage that has been done. Restoring liberty and balance. Improving the lives of millions of augmented people like us. But tonight, because of you, hundreds of men, women, and children must be sacrificed. Because of your interference, I had to place explosives in the residential towers across the way. I can send a detonation signal at any time. But if you come to the exhibition hall right now, maybe I won't have you here. We can avoid another unnecessary tragedy. Provided you don't take too long to reach me. The creed. The bombs. I heard. I don't know if I'll find him in time, but I'm already on it. Fucking hell! Shit. No masks. <laughs> really did a number on me. Just hang on, Miller. I'll find no time. Or force me to drink. Oh, too late for me, Jensen, but you. There's still time to save the others. Forced you to drink. The orchid. I have the antidote. What? How did... There's still time. No. No, for forget it. Not worth wasting on just one life. The others might need it. I won't sit here and let you die. Uh, disobeying orders. I thought you said you weren't going to be a problem. Just take it easy. You'll be okay. Let the antidote do its thing. You were right. About everything. I'm sorry, Adam. That's not important now. No, it is. My God always told me to trust you. <laughs> Should have listened more. Go. The meeting room. Say Brown. Then put this bastard down. Adam, it's me. That pocket secretary in Hong Kong, it went live a few seconds ago, just long enough to shoot out a message. You intercepted it? Yeah, but it's cryptic. Looks like meeting in session. Proceed with delivery. Key 2202. As we consider the importance of this moment on a national level, on a global level, on a humanitarian Nobody level... Nobody drink. The champagne's been poisoned. It's a cuvée de prestige. You and your guests need to get out of Apex Center now, Brown. Slater's dead. Tarvos is compromised. They've come to stop you. Can you get everyone to the helipad? Yes, yes, of course. My security team will escort us. But what about the other attendees? TF-29 will evacuate them. I'm going after the people who did this. Then you have a long way to climb. McCready, I got to Brown, warned him about the champagne. His security team is getting him and his guests to safety. Good, that. Fucking Marchenko wasn't lying, though. The residential towers are packed solid with explosives. If he uses that remote detonator... I'm heading to the exhibition hall now to stop him. Get your team started on defusing those bombs. Maybe with a little luck we can pull this off. Luck? We're both gonna need a shitload of that, mate. I'll see you on the other side. Other side. You are taking a long time to arrive, brother. I would rather not cause more death today than necessary. But like the good soldier I am, I will do what I must. 
If you do not stop me, time is running out. Why have you not come? Is your faith in hypotheticals truly that strong? Apparently not. You have made the right choice, brother. Why should so many die so loudly when a far more subtle message can be sent? To achieve my mission, I only need Brown and his guests to die. And you, of course. Now show yourself! I'm taking you down, Victor. I do not fear death, nor do I revel in it, brother. But for some I am told that it can be a relief. Tonight, one of us will find out if that is the truth. Pretty. It's over. Santo CEO Nathaniel Brown took to the stage today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his Safe Harbor Convention last week. Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. We must not make rash decisions based on fear, nor should we allow a vocal minority to dictate our future. The Human Restoration Act is a perversion of all the United Nations stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. Strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. Let us see if his prediction proves true. This is Eliza Kazan. Hey, are you even listening to this? Live we won! From Pike. Did we? <laughs> we completely disrupted their plan. Marchenko, the orchid, the bombs. We've been under too long, man. Time to come up for air. Take a breath. <sighs> Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Picus will talk around it as long as they can, but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? <laughs> Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. Honestly, I'm surprised you let him live. Marchenko knows things. Put him in a cell, it might convince him to talk. Put him in the morgue, and we get nothing. Let's hope his bosses aren't as smart as you are. Regardless, we want the men behind him. Behind the Human Restoration Act. 
The ones still out there in the shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderly and Paige. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try, Adam, but I already told you, he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting, face to face, or I find him myself. I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? Criminals may have achieved the impossible in Prague last week. A break-in at the most secure data archiving facility in the world. According to rumors circulating the internet, forensic computer experts were invited to examine the Palisade Property Bank's lava wall defenses after one of its account holders reported an unusual data retrieval delay. No word yet on which account holder filed the report, or what information, if any, was accessed. Palisade Bank Corporation owners released a statement earlier this evening, claiming that any rumors of a break-in at our highly secured facility are just that. Rumors. Between you and me, folks, I think they doth protest too much. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Apparently, the primary cause of the doctor's death was the exceedingly high level of alcohol found in his system. No other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Sources close to Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism ever since becoming a public figure. I am sure I do not need to remind you folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. Augmented terrorist Viktor Marchenko, whom law enforcement officials describe as being instrumental in the planning and execution of devastating violence in London last week, is being moved to a secure facility for questioning. A long-standing member of the Augmented Rights Coalition, Marchenko has been very outspoken about his motives for the attack, claiming it was appropriate retribution for injustices suffered by the Augmented. I do not know about you folks, but there is only one question I really want the answer to right now. When will the United Nations pass the Human Restoration Act so that dangerous killers like Marchenko can no longer terrorize us? It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. Of course, we are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for ARC to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled ARC a terrorist organization. As we speak, brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding ARC-controlled compounds inside the Udalek complex. Here is an example of the defiance they are encountering. This... this is where you have it all wrong. Wrong! ARC was framed. You people, you don't see, you don't realize that Viktor Marchenko was not ARC. He was trying to kill ARC, kill the cause. But he has failed. We are strong, we are innocent, and we will not be used as pawns by rich, scared men who want to make us less than human. I am sorry, young man, but methinks thou doth protest too much. The Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Radic Nikoladze, leader of the Diwali's Prague chapter. Sources close to the man tell me, however, that Nikoladze has gone off the grid, and it is unlikely he will ever be found. An indication of guilt, perhaps? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think. News out of Paris today, where a sharp rise in illegal underground publications may have links to a prison escape recently orchestrated in Prague. Last week, Czech state police were holding members of the underground news group Samastat on charges of disturbing the peace, human trafficking, and media terrorism. The radicals escaped their holding cell, however, and are believed to have subsequently made their way deeper into Western Europe. 
Shortly after their escape, a radical publication called Silhouette began appearing throughout France. Has Samistat rebranded itself as Silhouette? I am sure you will agree with me on this one, folks. No matter what name these people go by, there is nothing more dangerous than the spread of false news. Turning our attention now to a more colorful story. A recent incident inside an illegal underground drug laboratory has led authorities to the heart of Prague's neon operation. According to sources familiar with the new drug, the dangers of neon had more to do with illegal distribution methods and criminal ties than with consuming the drug itself. Make no mistake, folks, neon is illegal, and the dismantling of this laboratory is good news for everyone. However, some government officials have hinted to me that the drug may have therapeutic benefits, and if so, a government-approved version of Neon could be made available to the public eventually. Further testing will be required, of course, so only time will tell. That is not the point. You should have all been informed. That is why we are here now. Volkart, what's done is done. The broad strokes of the operation were very clear and haven't changed. There are always adjustments that will occur in the field. You should know that. Adjustments? Those were not mere adjustments. Interpol was more capable than we anticipated. They have a new augmented agent by the name of... Adam Jensen who we believe may have had external help, possibly by the Juggernaut Collective or even Janus directly. We're looking into it, but we... All that is speculation at this point. Let's find out more and reconvene later this week. Thank you, everyone. That'll be all. It's your own fault. I'm aware of that, Doctor. Elizabeth sends her regards. Report. Overall, the subject seems quite well adjusted despite the massive traumas he's experienced. And his memories are still consistent with the program. He is remarkably stable. Excellent. How close is he to contact with Janus? Very. It's only a matter of time. 